Yo, good morning, chat. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? We got a shiny eel today. Oh, hey! Lucky number 13. I agree. Yo, thanks for the lucky 13. Do, 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 do. It sounds like the song is for you. Woo! Thanks for that home star. Appreciate it. And thanks for lurking. Appreciate that too. How's it going, everybody? Nice first bull bag, nice second blast. Like like the bot mentioned, all the rewards are all the redeems are working 100 percent properly. I didn't have to manually click on anything. Isn't that amazing? A hey, blast. Is that a new emote? It's adorable. Hey Lucas, how's it going? Hey guys doing it. How's it going? That Hagrid, I don't I feel like a lot of people put the Hagrid as an emote because it's hilarious. That's from like an old Hobbit game or something, right? Or Lord of the, well, one or the other, I guess, Lord of the Rings or I can't remember, but I know I've seen it and it's hilarious. It's a good one. Thanks Sam for that reset, Homestar. Hey Exter, how's it going? Maybe <laughs> It's a cute amount, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I feel like I had someone else I wanted to say, but I can't remember. Uh, cheers. I'm having a sip of coffee. Cheers. Oh, you got a mohawk. You got it. Shiny mohawk for the shiny eel. <laughs> Ooh, some good coffee. We're at the mermaid's house. They're not, not this right now. This isn't the mermaid's house. This is still a mystery, mystery Triforce stuff. I wonder. I wonder what the super version of the games is gonna be like. The hero mode or whatever. Your modes came in there going live today! Very nice. Congrats. It's always exciting. I should probably do some uh, emote work too soon. We got a subathon coming up again already. May is gonna be so busy. I'm kinda scared, honestly. <laughs> On the second, we got stream anniversary. On the 22nd, we got affiliate anniversary. And then there's a subathon somewhere in there. Either the 21st or the 28th. I can't I can't remember. It's one of those days. But actually, I wonder... Hmm. What if we did it on a Wednesday this time? We could put it on the actual affiliate anniversary since it's like one day. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Could maybe do that. We'll see. <laughs> It, it's the- oh wait, Harry Potter, not Lord of the Rings, what am I- Yeah, it's Hagrid, you know, from The Hobbit? He's- <laughs> Brain fart. Yeah, from the original- well, I, original uh, PS1 Harry Potter game. That's funny. Yeah, that's- I love emotes that start like that. Hey, Pat. You're expecting an Oracle of Kim Exil today? Yeah, I've been kind of predictable lately, haven't I? <laughs> Hey, Daisies, how's it going? May's doing her last final tomorrow. <laughs> and she'll be free. Oh, wait, is that true? That's awesome. Well, my my May's gonna be... Well, I don't... I can't... <laughs> Not May Lynn. May the month. Silly goose. I'm gonna have to start saying May in a different language, but the problem is that May in French is also May. Um... I think May in Spanish. Oh, Mayo! Let's call it Mayo. Or Mayo. We just call it Mayonnaise Month. Mayonnaise Month. Thanks for lurking, Homestar. For real this time. It's gonna be May. <laughs> Today's bye 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 to April. <laughs> I forgot about that. I love these goofy things. I mean, there's a lot of, like, crappy stuff in the world, but humans, like, are so funny. <laughs> We're also hilarious. We can be pretty terrible sometimes, but we can also be hilarious and cute. You know? Also, once talked like a pirate day. Did we miss that? I think we might have missed it. I guess. Was that earlier in April? I'm not sure. <clears throat> but there's a coherent sentence that's the same in French and English. Hmm, does it mean the same thing? That's the question. Because I'm sure there are... I'm sure there are sentences that are like... you. They sound the same, but it means something different. Like... Oh, now you're just gonna make me think about that. 
Okay, well, while I think about that, I'm also going to think about this lava juice that I have. <laughs> because, um, what the heck. So, hot, juicy drink. But I don't really think of drinks as hot and juicy, you know? Hot and juicy is like a burger. Like, juice should be juicy, that's... That's the... Probably the number one top adjective for juice would be juicy, right? <laughs> Might have missed talk like a pirate day, I can't, I'm not sure when it is. I thought it was April 20th. No, April 20th is something else. It might have been around there. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Bulvaic. I agree. Most people are wonderful. It's not even just the big people in power, but the wrong people definitely take power. I think it's because the good people don't really care about having power, for the most part. And the good people that do care about power only care about it because they don't want the bad people to have it. <laughs> but there's probably other things they'd rather be doing. The orange juice? The number one adjective for orange juice might be orange. Because it's orange colored but also made of oranges, so I guess that would be the exception. I, w I was thinking about this dungeon a little bit when I was walking the dog this morning. Seems like that's when I do all my thinking. Oh, is it September 19th? I thought it was... I had April 19th in my head. Okay. Alright, we can look forward to it. We gotta start practicing now, because admittedly, I don't know a whole lot of piratey things to say that are not Pirates of the Caribbean quotes or just, YAR! <laughs> I mean, I'm not just gonna say YAR in every sentence. <laughs> Excited YAR. <laughs> There are a lot of mean plebs out there, too. Yeah, true, true. I guess it's the people in power who can actually do awful things, you know? The plebs don't have the power to do awful things. They just- they're just a lot of talk. Man, I took the dog for a walk this morning, and the first thing, this guy just, like, tears down our street, just I was like, what the heck, dude? What- Why? Why? <laughs> like- Oh my god. Every day talk like a pirate day if you try hard enough. Yeah, or if you are a pirate. <laughs> or or if you just want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking about this after that idiot came tearing down the street. I was like, oh. well, okay. But about the mermaid cave, you know. <laughs> Robbie Rotten. Uh <laughs> Except Robbie Rotten was actually like a super sweet guy, wasn't he? That's what I heard anyway. He was actually- that sounds like- oh my god, that would be such a fun character to play. Just an over-the-top goofy villain in a kid's show. That would be like probably the funnest role ever. But yeah. I was thinking- I was thinking about this and I was like, okay. So, as far- as far as this dungeon goes, I actually- let's see, do I have a good picture in my head? If we go up from here, there's a room full of snakes, and then to the right, we have two rooms that are kind of connected, and they have, like, a big- wait, I've been to the right? The far right room? Oh, Henry, are you doing this? Are you doing this? Okay, let me move my keyboard so you don't type stuff. Okay. Yeah, here, here, here. There. The dog's on my lap, by the way. And, uh... oh, <laughs> He's so cute. I wish you guys could see. He's, yeah, you're so cute. He like sometimes he puts his head up on my on my keyboard wrist rest. It's a puppy chin rest. The only downside is sometimes he hits buttons on my keyboard, and I don't really want him to do that right now. <laughs> Guy who played Biff from Back to the Future was also the opposite. You know, I should. I'd love to see an interview with that guy because Biff was such a dirt bag. Like he was. Oh my god, he was a. He he really was like. If that guy's the opposite, he did a great job. Because Biff was like, I hated Biff when I first saw him. I was like, that guy's the worst. So he did a good job. But yeah. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so this dungeon, right? Okay, okay. So, to the right, we have like a big long watery room. And there's like a, like a balcony. Like a balcony on the top and bottom and the bottom has a locked door like this one right i can't i wish i could move the why can't you move the cursor around I, 
That's all I want in a remake. If they remake this, just let me move my, my little blinking cursor around. And show me where the stairs are. That would be fantastic. That would be great. Maybe if there's like a chest that I open, it could show an empty chest. Like, that would be handy. But anyways, so there's a locked key door. A door that is locked and requires the use of a key. Uh, like, two squares over to me and up. But I don't know if it's... I'm assuming I have to get there from that room. So I have to get up on that platform somehow. But I can't... Like, it's all water, so I'm, I can't even use any of my gear because I'm in the water. I'm swimming, I can't use stuff. So that's kind of weird. We got a mermaid tail over there that's not connected to anything, so I have to get there from stairs. Or option number two. We'll go over option number two in a second. Here's me, you know, thinking about the dungeon and what we have so far. Okay, we go up as a room full of snakes. Above that, I don't remember. But to the left... Oh wait, no, 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 the one above that one... Okay, this is an exercise in memory. So the one of the room above the snake room is the one with Riz robes, and I think part like the left side is raised, and the right side is down, and there's a bit of water, and there's some of those anti fairies there, and there's Wiz robes. And then if you go one more room forward, that's the one with the button in the middle where you have to switch it, and the floor disappears. And then to the right, I that's oh that's the sexy snake room. That's the sexy snake room where we had to seduce the snakes. That was to the right of that room. Okay, I remember that. And then to the left. I don't remember what it looked like, but there was a bombable wall on the bottom, and then that led us into the, the left room, so the middle one on the left now, right? Which had bombable walls on the top and bottom. And there's like a big hole in the middle, and you have to use the switcheroo to navigate. And then the bottom one was a color puzzle where I got a key, so I probably don't have to go there anymore. Look at me remembering stuff, chat! Are you proud of me? And then somehow we get into the mermaid's head, and I don't know. So, basically, there's one room that we haven't accessed that we potentially could, which is that bottom right one, with the key going into it. So either we find a way- and we have two keys, right? So we either find a way to use that key, or- or- Henry, why are you- stop wiggling- no, 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 no. Okay, are you trying to leave or what? Are you trying to leave? You wanna be on my lap or not? If you wanna st okay, okay, he's staying. False alarm, he's staying. Um, but in the past, so we're in the present. We're, we're, we're in the present. We're in the present. Henry, stop it. Okay, fine. Okay, here. Go. Go then. He like pretends to get up and then he's, and I go to help him up and he's like, no, no, I'm good here. I'm good. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Be comfy then. And then two seconds later, he just kind of fumbles his way onto the floor. He just kind of like, like rolls off of my lap and then he takes my headphone cord with him and it's awful. So, <sighs> anyways. In the past, this is locked and it needs a key. And I can't take my keys from the dungeon outside the dungeon, because it don't work that way. So, I've got- okay, so we got option one and option two. Option one, or maybe not op- well, I guess option, whatever. The, the one- the first route we could take is we could try to figure it out from within the dungeon. Try to see if there's a way to get upstairs and get through that small key area, which I think is what I'm going to start with, because I was tired yesterday, I'd been dancing all morning <laughs> and trying not to get bombed. And so I think that maybe my brain was a little, there might be something obvious I missed, we'll see. We'll go check it out. Option numero dos is try to find the key for the door in the past because wouldn't it be amazing if the dungeon, like the dungeon puzzle was that you had to do the dungeon in the past and the present? Like, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be so cool? I, I kind of wanted that in Seasons. I was hoping that there would be one dungeon where you had to, like, affect the Seasons to do it, and it didn't happen. But I wonder, you know, maybe... Maybe something... Like, these these are kind of broken. The thing that tipped me off is these are not... You know, they're usually, like, the eyeballs that follow you around, but they're not doing that. So it's already creepy, so it's like... This dungeon's kind of broken already. So maybe I have to go in the past to before it was broken, and maybe you know, work with past Link. The other thing is we have the map already, and I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure, that if this dungeon had a basement, it would show, right? So I'm assuming that since we have the map, and it's only showing one floor, there is only one floor. I don't think it's like... I'd, and you guys can confirm how maps work. You can confirm that if you want. If I have, I have the map, I'm not seeing a basement. I believe that means there is no basement. This is it. This is it. the whole dungeon is right here before our very eyes. I think that's it. So that tells me that 
you know, there's a, uh, there's a couple things that are pointing me to believe that there's a little more to this dungeon than meets the eye, so I wouldn't be surprised. There have been dungeons in, like, Link's Awakening, and I think there might have been one in Seasons? No, I think I'm thinking of Link's Awakening. Where you have to- oh, and, and Link to the Past to the Graveyard one, right? You have to actually exit the dungeon. The only difference is that's in the dungeon. There's, like, stairs and they lead outside, and you're like, oh, cool, and then you go back in someplace else. Kind of like the Divine Beasts. Oh my god, the Divine Beasts were so cool. <sighs> anyway, so we're gonna look around in here a bit more, and then maybe I will leave and see where- Maybe we bring the Lava Juice to someone and they have a key. Although, I also think, like, the trade quest has to keep going for a while. Although we have the Magic Ore. That's the other thing, we have a Magic Ore. Like, what? So we have this that we could trade to someone. I think we just keep this. I think we're good with that. But this, I'm not sure if this is the uh, the end of the trade or the means of progressing. I'm not sure. And then we also have this. So maybe somebody gives me a key for this or or something. So so yeah, yeah. No, don't don't tell me. At some point, I might ask for a hint, and if I do, it'll be like, okay, do I need to be in the dungeon or not in the dungeon? Don't tell me that yet, because I still have some... You know, we're fresh. We're fresh, right? Fresh eyeballs. Fresh brains. Fresh eyeballs. Yummy. <laughs> but yeah, that's so that's what, I just, that's what I'm thinking. So we'll look around here a little bit more. Mm, and I appreciate your conversation with good people and bad people and stuff. I'm not going to read all that, though. <laughs> the important thing is that we got, like, 99% good people in chat. I think it's 100% right now. But overall, I think I've had 99% good people, which is- that's pretty good. It's a pretty good ratio. Pretty good ratio. Mm, my 12-year-old tried out Oracle of Seasons yesterday. Nice. Almost gave up Incursion and played a bit more, and then he found the wooden sword and it was on. Aw, nice. Oh yeah, the wooden sword and it's kind of hidden. Like, it's not really hidden, but it's like, you wouldn't really think to go there, because I don't think they really point you to it. I think you're just kind of exploring, you're like, oh, like a cave, and you're supposed to go in it. Kind of like the original Zelda. They don't really tell you, like, oh, I think there's a- or do they? I think there's a cave around here with a sword. Getting the full first playthrough experience, yeah, and you're getting the full first playthrough watching experience with frustration and all- oh yeah, these darn fireballs. Is this the first dungeon to have the fireballs in this game? I think it might be. <gasps> we know. No, come back! Ugh. The fairy's like, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, Volvic, well, you're the 1%. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, like, I mean, I've had to ban people before, but overall, it's, it's so rare. I think, I can't even remember the last time I had to ban someone. <laughs> Dinosaur is gay. <laughs> kind of wish I could figure out a way to make him only say that when we have a pride eel. Like, he is pretty sparkly, though. He's pretty fabulous. Wouldn't presume to call yourself a good person. The thing is, I think if you're, like, thinking about that and trying to be a good person, I think, I think you are. Um, basically, I just agreed, Pat. Like, yep, don't tell me anything. I'll get it. Hey! Walk back into my sword beam. Walk back into it. This is the room that's kind of puzzling me right now, because we got these guys. I don't think it's a case of, like, kill them all and then something happens, because they're kind of hard to kill just because I can't... I don't have, like, a Zora, you know, dash attack. See, this is, like... This is the- this is where it's tricky, because I have to get up there. Have your moments, but who doesn't? Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, I think it depends on your moments, too, and, like, what- what they are, and, like, how few and far between, you know? Like, if you- uh-oh. Oh, wait, we can just- Like, if you have a moment where you- you know, you- You know, hurt somebody. Well, that's not really great. If you have a moment where you- I don't know, I'm trying to think of something that's not that bad. Well, even hurting someone, I guess it depends. It's so circumstantial, too, a lot of the time. Yeah. 
I saw a video the other day. It was like one of those just ones that I almost feel bad for watching, but it's interesting. It was like, um, was it like ex-convicts rank themselves or something based on their crimes? And there were some people in there that I was like, oh, this dude's- There was one guy who was like, no, I didn't do the worst thing, and then they ranked themselves just based on appearance, first of all. And then they found out what they all did, and then they ranked themselves again. And then they they ta they all shared, like, their story, and, like, how long they were in, in jail or prison or whatever, and, like, what, what their sentence was, I guess. And then they ranked themselves one more time. Or no, I guess it was they ranked themselves after they found out their story. And then at the end they found out their sentence to see who actually spent the most time in jail. But it was kind of surprising and, like, interesting to see, you know? Because you might see someone be like, oh, that, you know, like, there was one guy, and he, they ranked him the worst, like, every time. They're like, no, you did the worst thing, and they found out what he did, they're like, no, you did the worst thing, you, you get, get on the end there, you did the worst thing. And he was like, no, I don't think it's that bad, I don't... I don't really think it was that bad. I shouldn't be over here. And it's like he was just really... His his view was like so distorted that he thought he was being good, you know? But he wasn't really doing good things. I don't want to get into too much detail, but he was like... I think he like robbed banks and stuff. He, he robbed them. And so he would, like, go into a place, he's like, but I never, like, hurt anybody, you know? Like, yeah, we tied people up. It's like, okay, but, and then the other people were saying, like, that's traumatizing. You tie people up. He's like, I was gentle. It's like, okay. He's like, did you tie up old people? He's like, yeah, but, you know, I was really gentle. I was like, okay, I'm gonna tie you up, we're gonna rob this place, and then we're gonna leave. He's like, I was really nice about it. It's like, okay, but that's traumatizing. <laughs> You're not supposed to tie people up and rob places, you know? Like, he kind of, so it's kind of funny. Like, I, I mean, I... I guess he could have been worse, but it's still kind of funny. Like, the way people see themselves sometimes. And then there was another girl who she was in... She... I felt really bad for her. Because it was, like... Mm, basically, she ended up being charged with... Um, like, it... The circumstances led to her best friend dying, and she basically got, like, charged for it, even though it wasn't really her fault and it wasn't fair. And it was just, like, bad luck and circumstances and stuff. Like, she did seem like a good person that just got kind of screwed. So, you never know, right? You never know. Mm. But yeah, like, hurting people on purpose or just being malicious or, like, taking people or taking advantage of people, stuff like that. Anyway, sorry, I went on a little thing there. It was a really interesting video. Um, fun fact of the day, did you know that most species of eels share the same favorite food? Apparently they really enjoy cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? Wait. Usually when you have a fun fact, it's like a pun, and I'm trying to figure out what the pun is there, or if they just actually really enjoy cantaloupe, and how they would- where would they find cantaloupe? <laughs> I got a fun fact for you. Moray eels have two jaws. Kind of like alien. Wonders there anything in the game that will tell her. That's... That's what I'm wondering. Whenever I can't figure something out, or whenever I'm having trouble... I don't like to say I can't. Whenever I'm having trouble figuring something out, I always wonder if there's a hint that's, like, right in front of me and I just haven't considered it or haven't noticed it. The owl... Like cantaloupe. <laughs> there is an owl statue. That's okay. So there's a few. So okay. My thought process, right? For your entertainment. I'm here for your entertainment. Oh, I haven't listened to that song in so long. Anyway, okay. So there is an owl out here. What is what? Oh my god. The can oh my god. The cantaloupe. How is that? <laughs> how are, how? Are getting away with those emotes. That's- I mean, it's just a couple of rolling cantaloupes. My gosh, that is so- that's so funny. They're just trying. They're just trying, Twitch. What you gonna do, Twitch? Oh my goodness. Okay, so there- there's a few things, right? <clears throat> there is an owl statue. That's the other thing. So there's three things why I think this dungeon is different than the others. One, these guys, what the heck? 
They're like broken. So maybe that maybe they like to me they're always they're always like the guardians of the dungeon, kinda like the keepers. So if they're not intact, it kind of feels like the dungeon isn't solvable. You know, that's kind of tipping me onto like something is wrong here, right? Something's wrong here. That's what it feels like. And number two, there is an owl here. And he says that the legend has been passed down. Like, we can... The legend of the mermaid has been handed down from past to present. Now, I wasn't sure if that was talking about the key or the dungeon itself. Because the key we got from the Big Bang Boom Boom guy, right? He said he dug it up. So I am, I am so confused and interested in this right now. There was the guy who had the, the explodey bomb game. He said he dug it up. But also they were saying that the dance guy had it. So I don't know why he didn't have it. So I'm thinking in the past, maybe he like buried it somewhere. Like, I don't know. So I'm thinking that maybe I have to go to the past and like dig up this key somewhere and then solve something in the past and then that will make this solvable. You know? Because this dungeon, it's it's very straightforward the way it's laid out. So to me, it seems really obvious that there's nothing I can really do. You know? So maybe we will look around a little bit and see. Oh, fine. Okay. It's a good clue. I really- it's so weird to me, like, having to exit a dungeon to solve the dungeon, but I think that's what we gotta do here. I think that might be it. Twitch rarely deletes an emote unless there's a complaint. Oh yeah, and also Jazzy would probably have auto- auto accept. Auto- what's auto approve? That's it. That's hilarious. Hey, good morning, Les. How's it going? But that's a good point. If you're, like, brand new and you try something like that, Twitch will be like, uh, no. They'll do the Bugs Bunny. No. You know? But if you're already established and you have auto-approved, then it will probably wait for a complaint. I never- whoops. I accidentally used a thing. No, I can't reach it! Darn it, I can't reach these. You cheater. If I had a UFO, I'd be kicking your butt. Alright. He doesn't have auto accept? Oh, wow. That's... that's very surprising, then. That's surprising. But yeah, if you don't want to get complaints and ruin the day for his channel, or their channel... Uh... no, his channel, he said he... You pro probably should be careful. <laughs> yeah, if you put it on an actual family-friendly stream. Um, I can confirm that you do not need to be a partner for auto-accept. I don't know how old your account has to be, but, like, I've, I've had auto-approval for a while. I'm not sure what the criteria are, though. I'm not sure. Although I think I was family-friendly at the time. I don't think that has anything to do with it, because it's not like your channel is marked family-friendly, so I don't think they'd be like, oh, this person's family-friendly, they're not gonna- you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that would have anything to do with it. So I'm not- I'm not sure how they get, um, you know, auto-approval. But I think they don't want to be just going through everybody's uploads, because that takes a long time, right? But I'm just... Here's the thing, is like, I don't really want to just be wandering around here aimlessly because that's what I've been doing for the past, you know, week or so. <laughs> but I have reason to believe, you know, I need to get that key. And you know what? Here's the other, here's the other thing, right? So the owl said, the legend has been handed down from the past to the present. So there's a keyhole in the past, there's a keyhole in the present. We unlocked the present and we got that key. People were saying, Goron people were saying, that the dancer had the key. So, in the past at least, he should have it. So why did I get it from the other guy, from the blast guy in the future? So I think that the dancer still has the key in the past. Um, the other thing is they put the timey-wimey thing right here, you know? So, but I already, like, I don't know how... 
I'm pretty sure it was in the past that they said they got it, or they said he had it. I'm trying to remember who said that. But yeah, there's just this... It has a keyhole. I don't have... I mean, I have the mermaid key, but... It's so weird, because this should technically be the same key, but it's a future version, so I guess it doesn't work. I was like, oh, this key's been around too long, I don't know what to do. So, I think we should maybe investigate the dance guys a little bit more. If you have your first bunch of emotes accepted without issue, they decide you're trustworthy. I think that might be it. Once you get affiliate, you get your... Oh, crud. You get your stuff approved then. Until someone, like, blacklists you, probably. So, the other thing is you know I'm really good at confusing the past and the present for dialogue. I'm pretty sure they said he had it. That must have been the past because he didn't have it. <clears throat> he didn't have it in the present. <clears throat> the landlord changed the locks after he discovered Link had been there and messed with everything. You mean before? Hmm? <laughs> Someone's gonna say that he has it. <clears throat> See you giving something hot to a f oh, oh, this is it to a friend of the graceful girl. Oh, why does that guy want lava juice? Okay, I know exactly which guy. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure when he is. Is he in the past or is he in the present? Oh, he's got to be in the past because this guy's in the past, right? Duh. Okay. So. I could use the Gale Seed. No, I think he's kind of closer to this way, so I'm not gonna use the Gale Seed. Alright, I think I got it. I think I got it, chat. Wow, that would be like a, a world record of Kemi figuring things out. So I think we'll go... I don't know why he wants Lava Juice, though. But he's the guy, he's like... Just one guy who's like, hey, don't tell. Wait, he's the guy in that room, I think it's like raised on the left and right and there's a treasure chest on the right and a bunch of grass. I think he's in that room. I can't, I can picture it. Uh, I can't remember where it is. <laughs> but I can picture it, darn it, and that's the first step. All these guys? Oh, I don't like Hi it. there. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. It's funny, I feel like people redeem that just to troll me now. <laughs> Where's this guy? He's like, I'm a friend of the graceful Goron. I don't need to. Okay. He's in the past. So we're gonna look around in the past. I know how to get back to places now, so I'm not too worried about getting lost. This guy! It's this guy! Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with the famous graceful Goron. Really? Hey! That key looks like the mermaid key the graceful Goron has. You want the graceful Goron's key too? Aren't you greedy? Look, I don't know if it will work, but if you give me your lava juice, I'll introduce you to the graceful Goron. So can I have the lava juice? What? Take this letter of introduction to the graceful Goron. I was right. He'll understand. He'll say that again, right? I hope the Graceful Goron gives you his key. You just called me greedy. You don't hope anything for me. Okay, crap. Now we have to get down there again. So we have to get to the bottom. It's going great today. I'm doing good. I'm really happy. Oh, man. I was at, uh... I was at a thrift store the other day, and I bought just a... They had, like, jars. It was really cool. They had, like jars, like mason jars, or just like random stuff. Like beads or little jewelry things or whatever, and I was like, oh, and I mean, it's really hard for me to not look at stuff like that. Like, I don't generally, I don't really care about jewelry and stuff. It's gotta be you know, really to my taste and whatever. But, you know, and beads and stuff, it's cool. But um, it's really hard for me to not look at it because there's so many little tiny colorful sparkly things that I'm like, what if there's something really amazing in there? So I had to look at the jars and when I, oh hey, we're here. Handy. And when I was looking at the jars, there was one that had the little Tears of the Kingdom pre-order pins in it. And I was like, oh! <laughs> so I bought it. I don't know what the heck else is in that jar, but I, f I bought it. I forgot about it. I was like, oh yeah, I bought that. I also bought a snow globe at the same time that, like, 
plays a song and lights up and stuff, so that probably distracted me and I forgot about it, but I think after stream I'm gonna open up that jar and see if there's any other treasure in there, or see if I'm gonna just take the pins and redonate everything. But you know there was a little pre-order Link and Zelda? Man, they just got mushed in that jar. I felt bad. But that's cool, like I... I pre-ordered it. Oh, here, I'm gonna be greedy like Link. He already has a mermaid key, he wants another mermaid key. I already have the pins because I pre-ordered it. I didn't get the wood plaque, I would have loved the plaque though. But anyway, I, I got the pins, but I, you know, they're still wrapped up and nice because I've got like a little, little treasure box where I keep my bonuses and things like that. And they're really nice, and I had them on display for a little bit on like a, a little mini easel. Um, but I put them away because I was like, I don't want them to like... You know, I want to keep them nice and pretty. So now I've got another pack, and the packaging is all, like, bent because they shoved them in this jar. So I can, like, put them on my bag now or something and actually, like, use them as pins. So that's kind of cool, you know? Anyway, that was a big, long thing, but I'm doing good. <laughs> I think we solved this already. That's an introduction from a brother? What's this? Give me your mermaid key? How did he know I have it? Oh, well. I can't turn down a brother's request, but I can't just give you this. No, I already- ah. Oh man, I already platinumed you. Oh my god, he's making me do it again. The best part is you guys knew this. You all knew this. <laughs> You're sitting here watching me like, you know, banging my head against this wall for like an hour, two hours. Okay, I'm being, I'm being conservative here with two hours. And you're like, She's gonna have to come back. <laughs> She's gonna have to come back here. She's gonna have to do it again. It's alright, I'm all practiced now. I I hundred percented the heck out of these. And also I probably only have to get six. So first try. First try. Oh my god, why are we always back here? That's so funny. This is like this game Zora's Domain. In the newer games, I always end up back at Zora's Domain, except the difference is I love Zora's Domain. <laughs> alright, here we go, here we go. What soul? Since a brother has recommended you, I will do as I promised. Woo! We got the mermaid key again! And we got a perfect first try. Nice. Very nice. Take no spoiler tags very seriously. No, I appreciate it, but I just think that is so funny. You must have just been sitting there like... Like that... Um... GIF or whatever picture. The guy just... I don't know where he's from. Just sitting there with his arms crossed. He's got like his... His, his head on his hand or whatever, he's like, you know, just like, yeah, you know. Anyways, yeah, so we did that. Nice. Nice. I think this one is bronze, right? That was, like, pretty easy. Sabrosians. Yeah, where do you think they learned their dance from? Alright, we have the key now! We can... Oh, man. That's not a sword. <laughs> That's not a sword! What the hey? Ah! Ouch. Ah, gosh, stop it. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Here we go. Yes! Nice. Hey! See, they work. And they're watching me, and it's really creepy. We don't have the map, but I know how it goes. Authentic getting lost experience we all went through for the first time. This has been really weird, honestly. This whole this whole Goron Mountains part has been really strange. 
Oh, we didn't have water here yet. It's still called Mermaid's Cave, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought they might be, like, pointing at me. Oh! Hey, rude. Oh! Okay. They learned from Gorons? They did! That's why they- this is the past. The Subrosians were learning the Goron dance, and then in the present, and in Oracle of Seasons- Oh look, another gaseous scene. <laughs> I was running low! Um, you know, they, uh... They adapted it and made it their own. What?! Oh my god. Wait, have I seen- wait. Have I seen the- oh god, have I seen these things before? Oh my gosh. Have I seen these before, chat? Oh, are they candles? They're candles! I have to light them because they're candles. These little candle boys? Oh my god, he's a little candle! What the heck? Oh boy, that's... Ah! Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah! I've definitely not seen these guys, but they're little candles! Do you see a little wick on their head? Wicka, wicka, wicka! <laughs> Get out of here, little candle. No, no, no! <laughs> Get out of here, little candle man. <laughs> <laughs> what a great enemy. That was so goofy. Oh my goodness, that was so silly. Hey, this is that- Oh, this is that room! This is the locked door that I just- Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> oh, now I'm just gonna be laughing at everything. Those little candle guys. The funny thing is that they are candles, and then they're alarmed when you set them on fire. They're like, oh, what the heck? What's going on? What do you mean, uh-uh? What? But I've been using fire and it's been working. That's not it, but maybe. What? Okay, so I think it is fire. I think the uh, uh I don't think that means no. I think that means not now or not like this. Hey, it's the same room. Before all the ground was here. Whoa. Oh, I'm s this is such a cool dungeon. This is such a cool dungeon! See, they're giving me ember seeds. That is such a good hint. Hey, uh, Bulvaic, if, you're, if your kid needs any hints for Oracle of Seasons, and I guess just anyone in general needing hints for Zelda games, number one is like the classic, you know, try talking to people because maybe they say something different or maybe they say something helpful. But the other thing is always pay attention to what, like, what supplies they drop in the rooms. I think in some it doesn't matter, like, I think some of them it, it might be just random. But for the most part, I think they do drop what you need. So if you're having trouble figuring out what to do in, like, a boss room, if there's, like, pots that smash and they give you bombs, you gotta try bombing him, you know? That kind of thing. That one's pretty obvious, I guess, but I don't think it's obvious if you're playing for the first time. You know, it kind of feels like they just give you random things. Man, it's just all water. He's 12, he assumes any hints you give him are bogus. Well... Well, that's his problem, isn't it? Oh! Yeah, look, okay. So my thing was confirmed. Yo, this is... I'm just... my The gears are turning, right? This... Something happened. It, like, partially collapsed. Because in the future... Well, obviously those guys are messed up. This is the most interesting dungeon I think I've ever seen. We got the tail and we got the hair, right? But then up here we have, like, the arm and the main body stuff. So at some point, and obviously it's only one floor now, at some point this collapsed into there, so no wonder we couldn't, you know, get anything done. Holy smokes, you guys. Will you- whoa, that was neat. Will you relax? Will you chill out? So, I didn't even look at where I'm supposed to go. This is so crazy. This is so cool. Oops, uh, right, I'm a Zora, I can just stay underwater. 
Wow. This is so neat and weird. So that's where I came from. Ghost trying to get me. You can't see me. I'm underwater, dude. Huh. Oh. I just remembered the most basic Zelda thing that I'm gonna get a power up here. <laughs> Is that why you guys are always so excited about dungeons? You're like, I'm gonna get something new and cool. I always forget that. <laughs> I always forget. I just like, woo, there's gonna be puzzles and it'll be fun and cool and stuff. That's why everyone's always excited about dungeons. It actually, I'd never... I never thought of that. <laughs> I mean, I know you get things from the dungeons, but I was like, oh, that's why people like dungeons so much. You get a new thing and you get to use it and... Oh my god. Is it dad doesn't know nothing or dad has revealed himself to be a troll in the past? You Knowing Bulvaic, I feel like it might be a little bit of... A little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. This was all caved in in the other one. We had to bomb, bomb them. <gasps> it's one of these. <laughs> Yo, Plumberry Unicorn! Hey, I'm solving the mermaid cave and it's so cool! It's so cool! How was your stream? Thanks for the raid. This is so cool. Dungeons where you get the best items and make real progress. I don't know why I didn't like put that together before. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for the raid. I hope your stream was great. I'm sure it was, as always. I can't type. There we go. Hey, sweaty socks, how's it going? Break time. All right, take a break. Hey, you changed your icon. You're sitting on a little chocobo now. Aw. Aw. Right? That, that wasn't there yesterday. You were a little plumberry muffin. Now you're a little plumberry muffin on a chocobo. <laughs> it's heckin' cute. Heck and cute. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome in, everybody. We, uh, we got another mermaid key. I actually got it, and, uh, yeah. See, I knew I'd get it real fast. This is cool. This is such a cool dungeon. Man, how many dungeons have this, like, exact same room? Not exact same, but, you know. Basically the same. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm really loving this dungeon, I think it's so cool. So we had to go to the past. We were in the present and we got a key and we went in the dungeon and stuff was broken and weird. It didn't make sense and it was only one floor and then we went to the past and we got a key and we opened it in the past and uh, there's two floors. <laughs> so at some point it like collapsed. This is so cool. This is exactly what I was hoping for in Oracle of Ages. I was hoping that we would have to do time travel dungeons. That's so cool. So cool. Oh, man. <sighs> hey, Buttons. How's it going? I'm just really hyped right now. I'm really hyped up. Also, we found some little candle enemies that I had to set their wicks on fire and then like, I'm on fire! And then they just like ran around until they disappeared and it was really funny. <laughs> In the Temple of the Ancients today. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds cool. Totally didn't speed the game up, use no random encounters, and cheat your butt through boss fights. Oh, yeah, that would... That would be no good if you did that. Why would you do that? <laughs> After four to five years, thought, no, maybe it's time for a change. And friend bird did some new art, and thought, yes, let's do it. Well, it looks great and cute. And if you're... I'm just gonna throw this out there, but I think if you use... What's it called? The 7 TV or some- there's some extension where you can have like animated profile pictures. You could have like you- I could just picture that animated. The Chocobo doing that kind of bouncy run and your character just like flopping. <laughs> Get a work bar! I'm just kidding. But, well, you know, maybe down the road you could always do that if you wanted. Four dimensional dungeon. Yeah, no kidding. So good. So good. That would be cool. Morning's okay. Grocery store was out of all four of your main bread options, which is deeply unfortunate. How does that even happen? Man, how does that... That's crazy. Four bread options? Like, I only buy two kinds of bread and they always have it. <laughs> well, two, well, two brands of bread. One brand I don't really care what kind we get. They're all just like seedy, grainy, yummy, you know. 
Some nice, nice grainy CD bread. You wanted to channel Doc Brown? You're not thinking four-dimensionally. Yesterday, yeah. Well, I could have been stuck here longer. Get your button gear, you got stuff to animate. I mean, if they're into animating, like, that could be kind of cool, you know? Just start hinting, like, hey, you know, someone mentioned that, you know, the other day that it looked kind of cool, like, running, and I, you know. Or just invite them to a game of, uh, like, Chocobo Kart or whatever it's called. You know, the Final Fantasy karting game. They're all from the same bakery. Oh, okay, that makes a little more sense. You have two options, and they're all out of both, then you have to go without. Happens sometimes. Amazing how little bread is made with soy flour. Soya flour. Yeah, it's, like, we get... I, I, I generally like to eat low-carb. Just because carbs don't really seem to do very much to benefit me, so I don't really eat them that much. Except for they're delicious, so when they're delicious, I'll eat them. <laughs> but I'll get, like, low-carb breads, and there's one that I get called Carbonaut, and it's really good, and it's really, really fibery and proteiny. It's got, like, high protein, which is insane. You have that with peanut butter? It's like a, it's like a protein bar. It's crazy. Oh yeah, your birthday stream was Saturday! That's good, I'm glad it went well. I didn't play you the birthday song on Friday, Pat, you were supposed to remind me. <laughs> hey, what if I play it now? Hey, Buns, I hope you find your bread. Yeah, I hope you find your bread. I hope- I hope everybody has good luck with their bread. You know what? I feel bad because I didn't- I didn't push the birthday button for Pat on Friday. So, I'm gonna push it now. I'm just- I'm gonna push it now. Here's the birthday button. Everybody wish Pat a happy belated birthday. Alright? Then I don't feel bad, but I still want to wish you a happy belated birthday. <laughs> Woo. Happy belated birthday! I hope it was- well, you said the stream went well. Anyways, happy belated birthday. You should have come to stream so I could have pushed the button then, but... We're just making up for it, it's fine. <laughs> Those four are like, hearty and healthy and don't taste like garbage. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, um... I don't really eat white bread, Hi except- there. Hi there. My mom makes really good white bread. She doesn't really make it that much anymore, because just my whole family basically doesn't eat a lot of, like, you know, carby stuff. But she used to make it with her bread machine and it was really good. Like in the morning you wake up, mom's baking bread. It's like, oh, it was so good. It had it was really soft and fluffy and nice crunchy uh, crust. It was so good. I haven't had it in ages, but it's so good. But she makes other kinds of bread too. Like she still makes bread like keto bread and stuff. <clears throat> Sourdough bread. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just treat yourself. Mostly bread for fiber. Yeah, same, I guess. And peanut butter. It's a good vessel for peanut butter. When I need more than just a spoonful of peanut butter, like, I can I can just have a spoonful of peanut butter as a snack. <laughs> but sometimes I want on some nice crunchy toast, you know? Um, and Glass, thanks for the triple whammy. Let me do some hydro- I'm gonna hydrate with coffee, because I actually just took a sip of water. I can't remember the last time I had sourdough bread. I don't think I like it that much, but it seems like a... Not like- like a niche bread, I guess. Don't eat white bread at all. Yeah, me either. Unless, like I said, unless my mom bakes it, but it's been ages. You like to make bread too? French bread? Oh yeah, my mom also makes French bread. So good. Cinnamon raisin bread. Now you're just making me hungry. <laughs> If you're out of bread, need the fiber eat a bowl of porridge or oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal's good. Compass! 
Man, oatmeal's really good too. Hey, what's the actual difference between porridge and oatmeal? I always feel like porridge is basically oatmeal when you put too much milk in it. Then it seems more like porridge to me. It's like a texture thing. I don't think that's correct. That's just my head. Might make a rye bread. Dang. Make some nummy rye bread. Oh, your oatmeal expired. I was gonna say, can oatmeal really expire? And then you said it made you sick, so... You obviously had the same thought. I'm sorry that it made you sick, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Just the, you know. You know what I mean. I'm not mean for laughing at you. I'm laughing because we probably had the same idea. Yeah, it's oatmeal. It's oats. Oats don't go bad. And then you're, you know, two hours later, you're like, oh, I should have eaten that. <laughs> Thought oatmeal was just the American name for it. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of the same thing. But if I picture oatmeal, it's like thick and lumpy. <laughs> and porridge, you basically if you have like, if you make it creamier. This is bad timing, it was the day of the eclipse. Oh man. I bet you didn't even realize you were taking that risk, right? Is that, is that, I need to know buttons. Were you like, oatmeal doesn't go bad, and then you found out that no, it can? Because I also, I didn't think it could go bad. Hey, it's this room! It's the same, ow! The same room, this is so cool. Oh, I got jinxed. Hey, how does that song go again? <laughs> it's so cool. I think the game did a really good job of hinting me towards, like, hey... Come back here sooner. <laughs> Looked it up and the internet was like, it might be stale, but you'll be fine. I was not fine. <laughs> oh no. That sounds- that's like a sitcom premise or something. Dang. Well, I'm glad you're fine now, and that you weren't stuck on the toilet during totality of the eclipse. Got vegan porridge you had boiled water too? What is it made of? Do I go and unlock that door, or do I go here? Well, this is gonna- Oh, there's treasure. Hey, this is before the room got destroyed. Oh my god, this is so cool, chat! Chat, do you understand how cool this is to me? <laughs> do you understand? When's the last time I said that? No, chat, you don't understand. There was- In the past- We're in the past, and there's a basement. And in the- In the present, there's no basement, because- it's all basement. It like collapsed or or it raised up out of the wait, or did it raise up out of the water? Wait. How did the Maybe the basement got flo Wait a second. It didn't collapse. The top didn't the floor 1 didn't collapse into the basement. The basement got like flooded and raised up into Whoa. Crazy. Because we didn't go down to get here. What? Crazy. That sounds good, though. Big doll with the black currant jam. Oh yeah, and shades. There you go. Got some cool shades for our cool eel. You never take risks with expired food. I don't take risks with expired meat. Anything else is free game. And it, depending on deliciousness. If it's really good, I'm gonna eat it, you know. I'll risk it for delicious food. It's kind of like a risk-reward kind of thing. If it's really, really yummy and it might make me a little sick, then it's worth it. <laughs> if it's like, kind of good, but it could make me super sick, then I'm like, nah, it's not. I'm not doing it. What in normal porridge isn't vegan? Wait, that's a good question. Because <laughs> it's just oats, right? Oats or whatever. The insurance adjuster figuring out what happened. Yeah. Just use the sniff test. Yeah. A lot of- I think, okay, with expired food for real, like, sometimes it just depends on the food. Like, a lot of places package food and they just- <laughs> Look at him go. They just want to be on the safe side for, like, I guess liability and stuff. Maybe, for one thing. But the other thing, too, is I think it's, like, when it's best. You know, it says best before, not, like, deadly after, you know? It's a best before. So I think a lot of the time you can eat, especially, like, canned stuff, like, that's not going bad anytime soon, right? So it's, like, it, it'll taste best. Like, chips. Chips, chips, if, chips, like, don't really go bad. But, or crackers and things, like, yeah, they go stale. Although now with Buttons' oatmeal experience, I don't know what to believe anymore. 
How expired was that oatmeal? Was it like last week, last year? There was something, <laughs> there was something that I made this past year. It was like three years expired. I don't remember what it was, but it was fine. <laughs> but it was like, oh, was it protein powder? Okay, protein powder, I don't know what to do. I had protein powder that was from like 2020. And last year, I think I risked a bit of it. And I was like, it tastes funny, but protein powder always tastes funny. I tried a little bit of it, and I'm like, I think it's fine. Eh? But also, it, like, I was, I didn't really want to, you know? But then also, protein powder's like 70 bucks that I spent on that jug or whatever, so I was like, well... Oopsie. I was like, well... I'm not gonna throw it out, so I still have it. <laughs> I still have it. Hey, guys. <laughs> we seduced some snakes, we seduced some... Shrouded Stelphos, is that what they're called? A few months out of date? That sounds... Oh, milk can go rancid? Oh. You should have just asked Glass. <laughs> Start heading a deadly after date, right? Best before, and then deadly after is like two years later, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's true. Best before and then expiration dates. Expiration. I guess expiration is the deadly after. Use by, you don't eat at all after the date. One I'm really bad for is almond milk, because I don't have it that often, but I'll I'll put it in things once in a while. But it always says, like, use within one week of opening. I'm like, nah, this is gonna be in the fridge for, like, a couple weeks at least. If you like expired food. <laughs> uh, wait, is that... I've seen... I've, I've had some interesting, like, YouTube videos recommended, like, food-related ones. One of them is, like, eating rations from the war that are, like, still good, I guess. Which is crazy. I saw one yesterday about a, a lady that made a clear sandwich. And it looked pretty gross, and apparently it tasted pretty gross. But darn it, she made, like, it was like a burger. And it was completely clear. So strange. It was a great video, though. I, you know what? Maybe I'll put that in Discord later, but I'll probably forget, but I recommend it. I forget her name, but if you look up Clear Sandwich, I don't think it's a thing a lot of chefs are working on. Basically, the whole thing was just, like, flavored gelatin. Darn it, I just spoiled it for you. Hey, watch it anyway. She's funny. <laughs> milk gets the sniff test? Oh, yeah. Yeah, milk is fine usually a bit. Oh, we, we haven't bought milk in a while, but same thing for like half and half. Mil whipped cream maybe. Almond milk lasts for many months after opening. Yeah, like I just, I feel like it just gets more flowery smelling as it goes. So it's mostly just I'll drink it or use it as long as it doesn't smell like perfume. Depends on the additives, how long it's stored. Maybe some bugs got into it or something. Oh yeah, true. Hey, take care, Glass. Thanks for the lurk. Liquid butter for frying. Liquid butter. I'm trying to think if we even have that here. <laughs> but yeah, there's some things that, like, I just, I see the expiration date and I'm like, I don't believe you. Or best before, I'm like, I'll do it. I'll do what I want. You need the oatmeal you know, fast enough. I, ugh. for the longest time, I wouldn't buy, I don't buy, like, vegetables because we don't eat them fast enough. But I started buying lettuce, and you know, at Costco, they have, like, the giant pack of, like, six romaines, and I'm like, there's no way. So I used to share it, like, buy it and share it, like, with my parents, so we'd, you know... Because you know, lettuce goes bad so fast, but, like, we just started eating lettuce, like, every other day. Or salad, rather. <laughs> Turns out salad's really good if the ratio is not off. So you, you can't use more than, like, 50% lettuce in your salad. You gotta have croutons and bacon bits and maybe some chicken, cheese, crispy onions, egg, hemp seeds, you know? As long as it's not more than 50% lettuce, then it will still taste good. Boop. Alright. Oh man, there's an ad starting soon. Hey, this is that room with- oh my god, this is so cool! This is that room! This is that room! This is like... what is this like? Ocarina of Time a little bit, but... 
It's also giving me vibes of, like, the new Zelda, like the Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Age of Calamity. Like, in Age of Calamity, you're running around Hyrule before it's destroyed in Breath of the Wild. And then in Breath of the Wild, you're like, oh, here's the stables, and they're all destroyed and whatever, right? So... Anyway, we gotta take a break, because we got an ad coming up in Oh god, there's a ghost! It's not a ghost, it's a wizard. We got, like, five seconds till break, so I'm gonna start songs. Ah... Hey, take care, Pat. See ya. All right, we're gonna listen to some chippy tunes, and then we'll be back in a bit. Some nice homemade chip tunes. Hey, I messed up my playlist. You know how we get that little Windows sound sometimes? It's because I, like, m moved songs around in the playlist, and it's like, oh, did you want to save the changes? I'm like, no, I just want to play them in a different order this time. But I wonder, I put them back. Aha, so maybe it'll be okay. All right, anyways, we'll be back in five to seven. Have a good break.
back. I'm back. I, uh, whoop. I was gonna play one more song, but I don't wanna. I wanna, I wanna do this dungeon. It's so cool. It's so cool. This is... I don't know if this is the most excited I've been for one of these, like, 8-bit dungeons. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to see what power up we get. And you know what's really cool is there haven't been any hints yet, really. Except for that... The, um... The braziers that I couldn't light. That was kind of weird. But I don't know if that was item related or what. Hey, Bowie, how's it going? You're just in time. So, maybe it'll be a thing... I was gonna say, maybe it'll be a... Magnet thing where I can pull stuff. No, I don't think so. Because I can just push these like this. Is that something you guys are on the lookout for when you're... Wait, what? I can't... What? What? Huh? That's a lot of really short dancing eels. We're, we're not stuck in a mode only again, are we? Because I took it off. Um... This is weird, I can't like... Okay, I don't think this is helping me. We're not, okay. Just making sure. I like the little short floppy. <laughs> it's funny. I wonder- I have to be able to push this, like what the hey? Oh, I don't have my feather on anymore. I was like, I jumped! Well, not really. Did not really jump. What if that's a decoy and I push this? No, oh, okay. You know, push that one and then push the other one up. Hmm. This is where I always second guess myself. You don't need the power bracelet to push these things. One, two, three. Okay, I'm confident that I pushed it long enough. What in the heck? What the heck? How come, how come I can't push this? I mean, look at all these eels. Whoa, crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I don't know if I can solve this yet. Maybe I get like a super- you know what? I bet the red blocks are like heavier than regular ones. Maybe I get like a super power bracelet. I might have to come back to this. Biggest gripe is that it needs to be equipped at all. It's an old game buttons. They were like this. But yeah. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but maybe that's just some nostalgia, me just holding on to like switching things. But yeah, like you get the flippers and you don't have to equip those. Well, I guess that's the only thing. You don't have to equip the flippers. But yeah, it would be that would be the main one I think to just you can just lift things now. You know that would be nice. Everything else I feel like equipping it is fair, but with that it's like yeah, you know, it would be nice. Maybe if we get a remake. Actually, if we get a remake for sure, that'll be it. And I think Dash will just. I don't know if dash will just be a thing, because you don't get the dash boots, it's a berry, right? I wonder... If I have to beat the past one before I can get to the present, or if I have to, like, go back and forth. But, maybe I go back and forth once I get so- I, I need to get to the basement. No, I need to solve this. I think I need to solve this right now. But why can't I... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they would have done it that way. Like, I guess I was just assumed there was, like, a good reason, but if it was just a decision, then it wasn't the best one. Hmm. I can do this, but, I mean... Alright. Oh, wait. Is that just what I have to do? Do I actually finally have to use my cane? Wow, except is it gonna... Yeah, okay, so that's actually not that helpful. What? What if it's like an upgraded cane that makes one... Okay, so this still isn't working. Okay. Huh. There have to be some stairs somewhere. I'm trying to think if there's something I haven't seen yet. 
If I could summon Ricky and just park him there. Hmm. There's all this stuff is in the basement, so it's like I have to. The other thing is like sometimes the stairs go directly to another room, but most of the time I think they go in those like side scrolling things. So you can't even look at like, oh, there's no room down here. So there couldn't, you know, for example, this room could have stairs in it that go in a side scrolling thing and then you end up someplace else. Man, I felt so smart when I got this and then. <laughs> All right, I don't know if I can solve this. What the heck? I guess I'll look around some more and see if there's, like, stairs or something, because, I mean, was there something that I broke in the present that I can break in the past? Get a remake, I bet we get to have sword always equipped. Oh, that's what I was gonna say, yeah, because the dash thing, I was like, oh, that's where I got stuck. But yeah, the sword would always be equipped, I think. You would always be able to, you know, because we have ABXY, so you'd probably have your sword on Y. Future, this is a door. I guess it's not a door yet. <laughs> Maybe seeds can be cycled by the shoulder buttons and bracelets always on. I think the bracelet would always be on. The flippers obviously would always be on because that would just be a step backwards if, if they weren't. The sword would always be on. There are guys shooting at me. <laughs> the sword would always be on. The jump, you'd probably be able to jump, right? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe jump would be like on X. I'm trying to remember how Link's Awakening was. I... I kind of refuse to believe that I just can't do anything with these guys. How... Well, he's kind of stuck, so I don't really care. But it's so weird. I've always been able to do something with them, but now, no. And with, like, the seasons, I think, if we, like, in seasons, you would be able to use the shoulder buttons for sure, to just, you could... So you might still have to... Or make it, like, a radial thing, like in Breath of the Wild or whatever, you know? That'd be really fancy. Okay, we did this already. If I get stuck here, maybe I will go to the present again, but, I mean, there's still nothing I can do there. Hey, my keys, did they carry over? I didn't notice if my keys carried over. Hmm. I guess it's not that important. I'll figure it out. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a really good day too. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Got any treat yourself things uh, lined up? Hmm. For a treat yourself day? I tried. This is so funny because in the present, I tried bombing this wall and nothing happened. But I was on the right track because that is what you end up having to do in the past. Hmm. I'll take another look. I don't think there's anything I can do in the present, so I think I just have to figure out that room. I'm pretty sure I can. These things are so strange and cool. Kind of scary. I think they're so funny, though. Uh-oh. Darn it. At least he didn't set me on fire. Oh no, I bounced on him and... Darn it. I'm trying to stand in such a way that they'll bounce over me, but it never works. I just get hit every time. They change some things here, and these guys don't drop... Well, for one thing, the anti... Wait, are these anti... No, these are... What are they called? Whatever they're called. But the fire guy, I think, was an anti-fairy, and he didn't let me, uh... He didn't give me a fairy when I got him. This is so bizarre. I really feel like I either need to be able to do something with this, or I need to do something in that other room. But it looks like it wants fire, but I can't shoot it for some reason, which is so strange. <gasps> Chat, what if I do get, like, water walking boots? That would be so cool if I can walk on water. to bomb this as a shortcut back. That would be so cool. I guess 
guess it's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Why not? We'll waste a bomb. I mean, it was still cool. Still have to watch Hook. I bought it a while ago. And we haven't watched it yet. Kinda wanna watch it. Sometimes I feel like watching a movie, but then I feel like it's a waste of time. Which is sad. It's a sad way to feel. I don't like feeling like watching a movie is a waste of time. It's a piece of art that a lot of people worked very hard on. But... Sometimes it does kind of feel like you waste your day away. Especially if you end up not liking the movie. But I think I'll like Hook, so... It seems pretty unlikely for me to not like it. Or for people to not like it. Man, you can't... I wonder if you can just never push these red ones. I haven't been paying attention to the colors of blocks very much. I'm gonna go back and... I don't... I don't know! I can't move those blocks and my... Samaria thing only works in one direction, or one square at a time, so... Mm. Oh shoot, I just heard like part of a Pokemon song in my head and I can't think of what song it is. It's like a- it's a dungeon one, but it goes... I don't know if it's like Dark Cave. Why are you here? Are you important for something? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me again. This is so weird. Oh, what a cute dog. This is so weird. Obviously, you want to just push the blocks, right? But then that doesn't work. Why not? You can't push the blocks. Maybe I, maybe I actually have to like use the bracelet, right? Like press A. It doesn't seem like it. That's so weird. Why is this not... I doubt I can use my switcheroo on these because it never works on blocks. Yeah. I guess that one I couldn't pull because... Ah. That's so weird. Why can't I push these? It's driving me nuts. Oh, wait. I got this. <laughs> I got this, chat. I got it. Don't worry. There's a bunch of pots there. They're there for a reason. They're not just decoration. Um, that. I knew I'd figure it out. Okay. I get stuck on the weirdest stuff sometimes. That, that one feels kind of obvious. I think it's because the first- Oh no! Okay. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I forgot to put my sword back on? I'm just like jumping at the wall master or ceiling master or whatever these guys. Floor masters? I don't know. Ah! Ooh, that was close. First one I've seen that it hasn't been uh, in order. In the middle, I mean. This reminds me of the hero's cave right here. Hey, where did I get stuck? Oh yeah, the that was a weird part. I couldn't do the seeds fast enough. Oh I like this. It's contained to one room. Hey, this is so smart. This is my favorite one of these things because it's just one room contained. That's cool. Boop. Must break all the pots. Must break all the pots. Alright. 
Oh, right, I have no keys. <laughs> darn it, I forgot about that little detail. Gosh darn it. Uh, hey, there's a boss here somewhere. Wait. Oh yeah, he's there. There's a boss here. Uh, I need keys. I need to get to the basement. I feel like... So, I think I will have to go and do the present day dungeon and then come back. But I, I kind of thought, you know, that maybe I would get my item first so that I could actually do something when I get back there. Because as of right now, nothing has changed, right? Like, I can't... This is so weird. <sighs> How do you get down there? I mean, I am messing with things in the past right now. So I guess it is possible that if I go back to the present, something is different. It's possible. I'm not sure. Time travel's weird and I'm not entirely sure how this game does things, you know? But I opened it, right? So just me opening it might have kind of tipped the game on to like, okay, you need to make this different this time. Love that I get to push that pot back there later. up. I just like to... <laughs> Alright, let's go to the present day dungeon and see if anything is different there, because I think... Yeah, I think I need to do something else there. This is such a cool game. Man, anyone who played this as a kid, I feel like it's, it's like... I don't know. If you got this far as a kid, good job, because you're, like, more than halfway through. But also, this, like, this would have blown my mind as a kid, and also confused the heck out of me. Like, this whole game, not just, you know, this part. Also, yeah, these guys are closer now. They were further away before. It'd be kind of interesting if you had to make them... Oh, wait. Oh, this is the present night... Wait. Oh, this is- okay, this was not- I did not- Oh, it's broken because I broke it in the past! Oh, I was right. It feels good to be right about things once in a while. Ah, leave me alone, candle guy. These remind me of something out of Binding of Isaac. I'm not sure why. It's the way they move and their faces are creepy and stuff. Wouldn't it be funny if they set each other on fire? We're down here, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen these guys in a while. So. Oh, and the keys don't. They. That makes sense. It's two different. Duh. It's like two different dungeons. So I have keys, thank goodness. Nice! <gasps> I'm up here! Yes! Ah! Oh, I'm up here! And maybe there will be a treasure chest? See, that doesn't make sense, but I don't care. Uh. Maybe there will be a treasure chest, and then I can get, um, the compass for this part. Bloop! Nice! Oh, yes! We're making progress, chat! Except there's nothing up here. What? 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 I thought there'd be a door or a treasure or something. happy about doing this. Just have to check, you know? How is there nothing up here? That's so weird. It's just a dead end. Maybe I do something that- no, I can't affect it in the past, because that happened already. <laughs> huh. What's, um... What was that room where I couldn't go up? There was a bomb at the bottom of it. I had to- I had to blow a hole in the wall to go down into that one room and then another one, but what was up? Maybe I should just go back there and, uh... Yeah, 
Man, this Zora ring is great for this. It's so good. Never know when you're gonna just have to be underwater for a while. Okay. Ah, uh, snakes! And fireballs! Oh, goodness. Ah! Ah, stop it! Okay. No, leave me alone. Ah! Walked into that guy. I was like, oh, let me help you with that, sir. Ah! <clears throat> oh, yeah, this place. Okay. We're gonna shoot to the seeds. I want pizza. Man, it's been so long since we had pizza. Chad, how long has it been since you had pizza? Should you be getting some pizza today? Or tomorrow to treat yourself? Now, I don't want to be, like, a bad influence if you're trying to, like, not eat delicious food like pizza. But... Uh-oh. <laughs> but it might be time for some pizza. Just just saying, you know. Mustachio. Hey, Lucy. There you go. Shiny mustachio. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, let's get this. Yep. Alright. But I need to go left. We already did the snake seducy room. I think I need to be on the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Oh, good, that was close. Coolio. Ah, I think so. Oh no, it's you again! Go away! Hey, this room's the same, it still has these guys. Oh no. Hey, is that the stuff in the middle that I bombed to get through? Oh my god, there's so many... So many hands! Get away from me, hands! Go away! Oof. And this guy, you... Get down there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that whatever this is, I can just keep going from here. It'll be good. It'll be all good. Boop. Um... Oh, wait. Oh. What? I just... Hey, I blew this up in the past, too, right? <gasps> Whoa, there's two of them now! <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. They did, They added another one. They're like, hey, this thing is so much fun, we put in another one. Whoops, that's not a... Oh. Okay, alright. Uh, okay, we need to go... I, I don't... Up and right, I guess. So. Don't really need to be jumping, I suppose. Oh, wait, that's where I just. Oh, but it flips it the other way. I'm not sure if I want that. I'm not sure. But yeah, no, I want to go right here, right? So. Ah. This might be easier than it looks. I think I, I think I did it. I think I've done it. Unless I have to be up there. You know, I probably have to be up there. I definitely have to be up there. There's no door here. I definitely have to be up there. Probably. <gasps> key door. And I have a key. Oh, I knew it. I have to be up there. Ouch. Well, so much for that plan. Thanks a lot, Sparky boy. Okay, so we have to be up there. Ah. So now, if that pushes me... Yeah, okay, and now we go up here, and then I can jump down, and we go this way. Nice. This is so neat. What a cool dungeon. This dungeon is super cool. It's super cool. Super duper cool. Ha! I don't know if that's better, honestly. I feel like I like them better when they're not jumping skeletons that throw things at me. I think the Gibdos are better. Oh, they don't like fire even when they're bony. Haha, <laughs> I tricked you. Okay. And 
dungeon is cool, this dungeon is cool, this dungeon is cool. La -da 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 -da. That's my cool dungeon song. We got mini boss? It's mini boss time. <laughs> There's just nobody here. He like forgot to show up. Oh, there he is. Hey, it's this guy. Yo, does this guy have a name? He was in Link to the Past, right? Or was it Link's Awakening? No, it was Link to the Past. I'm amazed you've come so far. I thought you a harmless turtle. But I miscalculated. He thought it was a harmless turtle. At any rate, I'll finish this soon. I thought you were a harmless turtle. Interesting. Okay. Ah. Is that one gonna... Yeah. Ah. I feel like he probably doesn't care about fire because he's a dragon. Or whatever. Did that get him? I think I got him. Oops. I guess these bounce, so if I'm shooting them, there's always a chance they hit him. Ouch! Pesky kid, take this! I'll show you, pesky kid. Ha! Huh. Why? Sometimes it just, like, doesn't shoot. Oh, like, there. Why did that not shoot him? I had him point blank. I was gonna hit him right in the face. It didn't work. I don't think he cares. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, wait. This might be a good time to use some bomb chews. Just for fun. Just for laughs. Oh, get him. It didn't work. I don't really want to use the bomb chews, because I, I feel like I'm not supposed to have them and it's cheating. He's like, Bang. just pops up. Ah. Oh goodness! Yo, I see chat. Say, give me, give me a, a sec here. I'm just, uh, I'm in the middle of a thing. But hello. Ah. Bully, that's it. I'm serious. Okay, it's paused, sort of. Hey, Grizzly, how's it going? You were Link's, pa you were in Link's past awakening. <laughs> Guess you're not wrong. How's it going, Grizzly? Hey, tones. Is that what I should call you? Found your channel, my recommended. Hey, nice. Thanks for letting me know. And uh, I guess thanks, Twitch, for recommending me. That's cool. Doesn't happen very often. Uh, well, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Make awesome tunes just saying. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't I don't want to toot my own horn, but I, I agree. But I also, I'm very biased. I make music that I like. So I like it. <laughs> but I don't... I don't care what Grizzly likes, I just, you know... Grizzly just happens to like my stuff, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not making it... Not making it for Grizzly. Ah. That sounded way meaner than I meant it to, to sound. But Grizzly's kinda sassy, so I wanted to kinda be a little sassy too. <laughs> you know what I mean. You'll toot it! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I make my music for me, and I I work on my songs until I think they're good. Cause I mean I think that's important. I think if you if you make stuff, you gotta make stuff for you, and then hopefully the other people who like it will will find it. Hey, what if I just Gale seed this guy? Will that? Oops. Just mystery seed bouncing around. Oh wait, I have a shield. I should probably use it. Okay, it doesn't work. Does shield just not work on fireballs? No, it looks like it just doesn't. Oh, I forgot I had that. The chippiest of tunes. Hey, wait, I'm slow. I'm gonna run around a bit. I do try to make the tunes pretty chippy. And if you're around on a Friday afternoon, you can see them being made. See the Game Boy in action. Ah! This boss music is really good. Fine! Goodbye! <laughs> Whoa, there's little bats. Oh no. There we go. He tried to trick me. He's like, okay, fine, I'm out of here. Psych! We got little mini bats. <laughs> Impossible! Not once, but twice! Varen. Onox. Hey, he's talking about Onox! Oh yeah, because he helped Onox too. 
Hey, he wouldn't say Onox if I hadn't- if this wasn't a linked game, right? He would just be like, Varen, I'm sorry. Sorry, goodbye. You freaking love bats? I love bats too, they're pretty cool. He was making progress, dang. Think there'll be stairs here? Hey, maybe- Whoa, what if- No, wait, this is the present. But what if I do something in the past? What if it's me? What if I'm the one who destroys the dungeon? What if I- what if- okay, don't tell me, obviously, right? No- no spoilers or anything, but like, what if in the past, when I- when I go back to the past dungeon, I like, break something? What if there's like an Indiana Jones trap on the- on the power-up item, and I take it, and the whole place just starts like, crumbling? And then that's why it's like this? That'd be so cool. Link just like, destroyed the whole dungeon. Okay, I- I see. We have to time our- Bombs. I'm good at that. Meh. Oh, look! Oh, wow, that was real good, actually. It was actually super good. If I do say so myself. Uh, will that hit you? Oh, yeah. Kind of. It's a better angle. It's such a small detail, but I love the, like, left-handed swing, so you always know, like, where you're gonna actually hit guys. Oh, this is- this is probably the item right here. This is probably it. And then we go back in time and destroy this place. What if you're the problem? <laughs> I don't think you're the problem. This is so many bombs! It's like, I wonder what the game wants me to do here. I don't know if this would bother you guys, but it'll bother me if I don't bomb this, so... Alright. <gasps> Can't wait to see Link in this! Yup. Oh man, can we get a mermaid suit in Tears of the Kingdom? That would be awesome. We can swim in deep waters. Oh. Wait, what? A to use items? Use items? I did not read that, so... We just have a little fishy tail. We got upgraded flippies. The skin of the mythical beast. So this isn't the mermaid's house. This is her grave. And they just buried... They just put... Her... Skin. You know what? Let's not think too much about it. Alright, cool. We got our power-up. Let's go back to the past, I guess. That's probably where we're gonna have to do some things. I do wish that the gale seeds would work in the dungeon and bring you back to the beginning, although I guess that's what this is for. I forgot and then I remembered when I saw it, so... He wants you to try force. Oh, hey, let's go in here. Whoop! Oh yeah, what did it say? I'm bad at reading stuff, so I decided I have to make videos. Y'all, thanks for following. I'm glad you're having a good time. Boop. Okay. Press what to what? Get on with it! Good. Oh, you can swim in deep waters, press the... Okay, B is dive and A is items. So A is usually... So you can't go fast, I guess. Oh. Oh! Oh! Like, it's actually a little fishy tail! Oh my god, look at him! He's so cute! Little... Why am I... Is there a current? What's happening? Oh, there is a current. No, there isn't. It's just... What? How come there's, like, some places I can't go? Oh, that's weird. What? What's happening? This is so... What? We got a ring! Cool, mermaid ring. <laughs> Don't think too much about the transformation masks in Majora's Mask. Oh, yeah. Well, I was... No, that one I've thought a lot about. I've got... I actually... I ended up naming my guitar Mikau after the Zora guitarist. And I got a little Mikau card and then I, I had to order a case for this guitar because this guitar is, like, too big for, like, an electric guitar case and, like, too awkward for a, uh, an acoustic guitar case because it's, like, an, a, a classical electric guitar, which is really crazy. So I had to order a case, and but I've got a little Mikau card that I'm gonna, like, paste on there. The Zora stuff is so cool. But what's with... Why is, um... Is there, like, a weird thing happen? Can I only move one at a... Oh, you have to tap it to... Oh, you can go... Oh, you can go fast! Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh, my thumb hates this already. Okay, cool. Wow, that's awesome. Hey, we can go back to the hero dungeon. Oh. Right, we gotta go to the... Wait, was there any... I can't see the map of the dungeon. I'm not in the dungeon. Was there deep water in the... I'm just gonna go back to the past, because that's where all the stuff is. I think we solved the whole present day dungeon. Majora's mask is so dark, and it, it's just... Oh, no. Uh, like, this is cool, but it kind of ruined my swimming, and now I have to tap it like crazy with my thumb, and I don't really like that. It's weird to move this way. And then, of course, you get out of the water and you... How come I can't just hold it to... I guess you just go faster. Okay, it's cool to go fast, but it makes me want to turbo my D-pad. Thumb hates this already, what a mood. Yeah, I just... Oh, boy. Alright. This game is already hard enough. <laughs> game Boy's already hard enough on thumbs. I don't remember where all the water is. I guess this way. Turbo it! I mean, what does it turbo? How does that work, though? It just turbos whatever direction, right? I don't think I could turbo all four directions. Also, the turbo button on this is the screenshot button by default, and I haven't actually thought of a better one to switch it with. I'm not against turboing something if it'll save my joints from carpal tunnel, though, so I might do that. It would be cool to... Yeah, I guess you probably... Can. You could probably do one direction of it. So I could just turbo and... I'll go, like, really fast, but only when I'm moving left or something. What's with this blizzard? Are they always ghosty like this? Like, he doesn't actually... Holy smokes, dude! <laughs> Bro, just letting loose! Oh my goodness. He's like... Pshow, 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 pshow. Like, who said that readings for nerds? Yeah, like Grizzly. Just let me hit stuff. He's like, pew, 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 just rapid fire. Uh, you can do this. This is a little easier on the thumb than doing the, you know. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm like picking stuff up with the bracelet, I feel like I'm, I'm like actually putting force into it, like because subconsciously, I, I don't know. I'm like, like heave, you know. I like do that in real life. It's weird. That's like, it's probably not the only place where I do that, but it's the most noticeable. I feel like I've pushed really hard. Or maybe in, like, a, a racing game, you know, you, like, press the acceleration really hard because it feels like it makes you go faster, but it doesn't really. It just feels that way, right? Something like that. Got two paddle buttons on the back. Actually, I could program those two directions. I couldn't turbo them, but... Actually, it'd be, it'd be weird, but... Whoops, it'd be... I was, I'm pushing buttons. It would be weird, but cool if you could set the paddle buttons and then, like, the triggers or something to the D-pad buttons. Because I could spam, like, I can, like, like, that's fine, you know? It's a little easier than my thumb, I guess, but... Hey, what's up, Obi one? Did I say that already? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Well, you already answered my question. I'm doing good, too! <laughs> Glad you're doing good. They changed this from mechanic, it's horrible. <laughs> so we all don't like the... Yeah, I feel it. Is there a reason why you can't swim the same way, but then mash to go fast if you want to? Like, if you want to, right? Could you not just hold it and keep moving, but then mash if you want to go faster? Hmm. See, that's a thing they would probably change in a remake. Because you would have, like, item buttons, like X and Y. Actually, isn't that what they did in Link's Awakening? I think A was jump and B was attack and X and Y were your two item buttons or something like that. Something like that. Grab some quick groceries. Like what? What? What's a grocery that would be quick? Get some slow groceries. <laughs> when you turn to racing and you tilt your body and the controller. Oh yeah, I do that all the time. I'm always... My husband laughs at me for it. But yeah, I can't play a racing game without like turning. <laughs> I Sometimes I do use tilt controls. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. You had no problem with the controls of swimming on the game on the Game Boy. Were you 10, though? Because 10-year-olds don't give a hoot about stuff like that. Hey, have a good yoga. <laughs> Thanks for lurking. Every time you say you're doing yoga, I just think about Millie just coming and, like, knocking you over. Because that's what dogs do. 
Henry was good during my workout this morning. He just kind of fell asleep, I guess. But sometimes he'll be like trying to jump on me or something, or I don't know. I guess it's because I have energy and then it gives him energy and then he gets all hyper. And that's quick. Yeah, I, I kind of set myself up for that, huh? What about... See, the only thing I can think of that's slow is like slow oats. Which are good, but you know. Freak made minute rice yesterday and I totally forgot that it, like, I don't know. I, th I hadn't, I didn't really know about minute rice. I think I had heard of it, but I didn't realize that it, like, it really does just take a minute. I thought it was just, like, a marketing, like, oh, it's faster than normal rice that is slow as heck. But he, like, put the rice in the water and stuff. And then I was like, oh, you want some whatever with that or whatever? And he's like, oh, it's ready, get out of the way. And I was like, what do you mean it's ready? You just put it in. Yeah, it's quick rice. Duh, it's minute rice. It only takes a minute. Oh, okay. I don't really eat rice, if you couldn't tell. Except for with Chinese food, because then you got it. Chinese food, basically, I break all my rules. Not actually buying Nesquik, but you're out of milk. Why are you buying quick milk? So I can actually use items, but only when I dive down. So, oh yeah, right. I forgot. I'm like, oh yeah, swimming is dumb, I forgot. So with the deep water, my- look at his little fishy tail! That's so cool! Oh, I want to do this in the next Zelda, I want to go underwater. Can I- this feels weird, I don't really like it. So can I push- I'm assuming I cannot push stuff. This is really cool, except for the spamming. I'm not gonna mash, I'm just gonna, like, you know. Take it easy. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh, we got like jellyfish. Oh my gosh, what the. Oh no. Oh, it stopped for a sec. Is it gonna go again? Oh, it goes when I. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I can have a speedy food. Oh man, I just. What did I just say? Ah! Can I not. So you can use items, but- uh oh I can't use my sword. Maybe I can use my sword if I do- Ah, okay. You have to put sword on A. Alright, that was easier than it looked. Okay, this is weird. Whoa. I got 30 rupees. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Not knock you over, just assisting you, because he's your personal trainer. My personal trainer. You were way younger than NES, was that when you were 10? I was... Yeah, I was pretty young for these things. I think, uh... Actually, the Game Boy and the NES both predate me. <laughs> hey, can I blow up this wall? Can I... It's probably here. What? Is that not an arrow telling me to... Oh, goodness, this... Sucks a little bit. Okay. Well, I wanna... No bombs? No underwater bombs game? Okay, there's a room there, but I can't. I wanna mash A. Why is mashing A better than mashing directions? 30 rupees worth and getting shot in the face and zapped and stuff. Oh, oh. I don't like that I have to put my sword on A. That's weird. Especially- oh wait, we can do this. Might as well just do this, right? Wait, is it- it goes on B, I can't use it. <laughs> no Goron sword, you'll drown. It's too big. Ah! The underwater effect is kind of tripping- tripping me out of it. Oof. Underwater dungeon chat, that's- Like, aside from the mashing kind of sucking, like, nobody likes mashing, right? Although he gets a bit of momentum, so it's not too bad. It's not that bad. It's not my favorite. It's not too bad, though. Ouch. Ouch! <laughs> Jeepers. But I notice that you can only surface in the places where it's, like, got the special floor or whatever, right? Like, because it has to be, like, a deep water thing or whatever. Wait, can I breathe underwater? I mean, I have the water breathing ring, but it still feels weird. 
Oh, I see. I see what we have to do. Haha. -ha. Put up with a lot worse for less, just saying. Yeah, like I think this it's fine. It's not the best, but it's fine. It's fine. It's a little janky. But for what it is, it's so cool. Like I'm just if I have to like ice my thumb after or something, whatever. I guess it'll be worth it. <laughs> Cause this is so cool. This is like I mean it's an underwater time travely dungeon. It's like a dream come true. It's just so cool. Hi there. Hi there. Thanks to Triple Whammy. Are we two hours already? What the hey? Didn't we just Oof. we just have a break? Thanks for lurking. Thanks for lurking. This better be what I have to do, because this, like, takes way too long to be the wrong thing. No, I want to do that one last. Like a little swimming fishy link. This, as a kid, this would have blown my mind. As a kid, seasons did blow my mind and I barely got anything done. And it was just mind-blowing anyways. Um... Triple win. Are we really to, didn't we? I swear we just came back from break. How long ago was that? Like, there's no way that was like more than like half an hour ago. Tops. All the whimsy, the gasp. All the glass and all the whimsy. Nice. Should we get the chest and then take a break, or should we? It should be a key, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is so cool. So I guess the stairs thing I was talking about... Wait, are these rooms just only under one? I'm kind of confused, but okay. Look at him go! He's just a little fishy link. I want to make cross-stitch of this game. It's just... A little fishy link is so... Look at his little fishy tail. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> As if... As if Game Boy Link wasn't already adorable. I'm just take the fishy, uh, moving sidewalk here. All right, cool. See, they're, they're nice. They give you a little break. I don't know what's up with this shape. Why is there one block there that's like... Whatever, I'm not gonna... I can't push things as a fishy. But there's a... Okay, that's gonna be... Oh, that's the boss room. Okay, I know what we have to do. I know where we gotta go. Let's get out of here and go back to the... Whoops. Oh yeah, this is right. Whoop! Man, this is so cool! Whoops. Alright, you have to do this. We can go this way. Oh! Yeah. And then we'll be able to dive down there, and then... That's the boss key over there. I feel like I should go do that first. Well, whatever. Let's take a break, because I can't... I can't really decide. I feel like I... I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm here, so... We got the little fishy fins, that is so- it's so cute. It's so cute. Alright. Alright, we're taking a break. I'll stretch my thumb a little bit. Hey, when's the last time you guys stretched out your hands? You, 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 your fingies, you know? Be nice to your fingies. You know, they probably need a little stretch too. A little wrist stretch, thumb stretch, whatever. Oh, hey, and let me know. Here, try this on break. Or don't. Don't hurt yourself. But- uh, I don't know if- how common this is. I- yesterday I did this thing, and Freak couldn't do it, and I was like, what? I thought everyone could do this, so I don't know, but if you take your thumb on one hand, and you use your other hand to, like, pull it down forward, like, if you think of, like, if you think of, like, flexing your wrist backward or forward, if you, like, go forward, and can you bring your thumb so that it's, like, along your forearm? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But I can, I can like, touch my thumb to, like, the inside of my forearm. Not the back. That's... Oh, I can almost touch the back. <laughs> but I can, like, lay my thumb basically, like, against my forearm. So, I don't know. You know when you're, like, stretching your thumb, you stretch it forward, you stretch it backward. If you str I'm just curious how far your, your thumbs go. So, I don't know. Maybe... Try that on break if you are bored or something. And, uh, and report back. You know what I mean? You can't do it? Ah. I thought it was a thing that just, you know, but sometimes I'll do it, and then someone's like, whoa, what the heck? It's like, what? So, but my, th it's like, 
It's weird. Like my whole, it's not like just the end of my thumb. It's like from the knuckles, like my whole entire thumb can just lie flat against my forearm. And I'm starting to wonder if that's just really weird because I always thought it was normal. Get it parallel but not touching. Hmm. I wonder how... I, I've, I've studied, like, hand anatomy. I should know more about how wrists work. <laughs> Maybe you have, like, a longer wrist than me, then. Because then you get, like, a triangle, right? Almost. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Fun thing to play around with on break. Just stretch your thumb. But don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt your thumbs. But I'm just curious how many people in chat can do that. Anyway, let's listen to more chippy tunes, and we'll be back in 5 to 7. Have a good break.
Welcome back, chat. Welcome back to the mermaid cave. The mermaid grave cave. Like, I think I know what they're going for. Oh, right. Oh, I need my sword. <laughs> Get out of here, bats. Get out of here, bats. Okay, that was close. Oh, no, I need another key. I knew it. Oh. Okay, fine. We are going back to the beginning. Alright, cool. We don't have the boss teleport in this amount. Wait, but is there water I can... Okay, I guess I will have to do that. Hey, welcome back yourself. Hope, uh... Hope you had a nice break. Did you, did you guys try stretching your thumbs? <laughs> I think, especially, like, playing guitar, I gotta be stretching my hands more often. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do. We're going back to the beginning. And then... We gotta, um... Whatchamacallit? We gotta go underwater at the beginning. This is such a cool dungeon. Just nothing but joy. And the odd, uh... Wallmaster. But other than that, just pure joy here. Enough. Ah, ah. Ah. You tried popping your knee, did not succeed. Wait, is your knee in a good state right now or did you mess it up? <laughs> I gotta pop my knees all the time. They're always like I don't know. I'm the I'm the person that's always cracking things. <laughs> all my fingers, my neck, whatever. It's gotta crack. It's gotta <laughs> I'm just touching my forearm, but it's no longer touching my hands, so no. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, I didn't tell him to do it, he just he did it because he wanted to. I merely said, what if? Yeah. These guys are so funny. I feel kind of bad for just, you know, destroying them, but they are funny. Ah! Where's the deep water? I bet it's sweet. Oh! It's on this room somewhere, I guess. See, now it gets really interesting. There's nothing. Okay, there's a key. Just channel some Mega Man. You know, I've played Mega Man before. I can mash. Yeah, that's still weird. That is still really... I don't know how Mermaid Tail's gonna help with that. Hmm. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? I can't dive any deeper than this. There's no deep water here. I thought... Wait, was there deep water in the present day one? Remember if there was deep water in the present day. <laughs> Is that the streamer that told you his attempts to thumbs up looks sad? <laughs> Sometimes you'll plant your foot and twist your leg and your knee will pop. Oh, okay. My one leg just pops, like every time I rotate it, it just pop, 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 pop. It's really strange. Alright, I thought maybe I just had to be a mermaid, you know? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, you have to do it in the right order. Okay. That's what that meant. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh! Oh, I did, wait. Oh no, I did break it, chat. It is me. Oh. 
Your left ankle's like that? Yeah, it's weird, right? It's just... <laughs> like, is something... Is this supposed to be like this? Well, it's probably fine. <laughs> Beware deep waters. <laughs> you not you're not... You're not my mom. You don't tell me what to do. I'll beware what I want, and it's not gonna be deep waters. I love deep waters. I'm a fishy. Look at me. I'm a Zora. I'm a Zora. I'm a slithery little Zora. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Ha! Ha! <sighs> or they mean really deep. What? <laughs> oh, he meant actually deep water. Now, how does that make sense, chat? How does that even make sense? <laughs> I guess it's a current, right? That's just weird, though. I'm like, I'm not on the ground. How can I fall? But I guess it's a current. Ah. Cool. Well, you know I just had to... Can I go on the side? Is the side okay if I go along here? This is fine. Okay. Don't mind me just having to take Link's life into my hands. Oh, nice. That's the way to deal with these things. Stairs underwater. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Oh, no. Is this one that this doesn't work on? Yeah, it definitely is. Ah. Whoa. This is so awesome, chat. It's so cool. I have no idea. I just, I'm grinning right now. Like, my cheeks are getting sore. This is so cool. This is the coolest I did. Oh, no. Okay. Can I boomerang these guys? Oh, wait. Why won't it let me- Ah, gosh! Okay, I guess I just can't- Ow! Ow! Stop! Stop it! Ouch. Okay, so this is the test, is I can't- Oh, no, no, no. I think this is where I want to- Nah. Oh, god. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. I want to watch Zoolander again. That has Owen Wilson in it. <laughs> I guess I'm just using my sword. Is this that same room? No. Oh, it feels like- Oh, there's Trezor, though! Trezor! Boss key. Boss key? Ah! Or, no, probably normal key. Wait, then where's the boss key? Huh. Weird. I would- I think it would be so funny if I actually broke the dungeon in the past and then it's broken in the future because of me. Which would be another funny paradox, too. Alright, so we have to get back there, I guess. Like, I could just fall down these until it- I die and respawn at the beginning and just death warp it. No, no, no. Oh, well. Okay, that was not on purpose. Uh, but it could have been. What is- what even is this room? <laughs> There's a whirlpool with stairs in it. What? <laughs> ah! Go, Linky, go! No, I want to go under this time. I want to go underneath. The little fishy Link. So cute. Uh, I've seen where the bubbles are coming from. Ah! When he leaves bubbles behind him, it looks like he farted. <laughs> We're so mature here. Oh yeah, that's pots. You know, pots are probably fine. Probably a good idea to do some pots. Get some pots. I mean... There. That didn't really help, but that's okay. This is such a cool dungeon. I will not stop saying that. Bleep. The owl was actually helpful, and I was like, now nah, I know what I'm doing, Mr. Owl. We only have one key. Where the heck is the boss key gonna be? What if it's in the past? Wait, this is the, this is the past, right? Because we have two. What if it's in the present? But the keys don't uh, translate. Oh, that's not a sword. Oh, that works. Okay. These guys are too slow. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do the thing. I warned you. I didn't want to do it, but now I have to. Uh-oh. Wait, I'm still trying to swim run like this. Gosh. 
That's not a nice sound. I thought he was gonna spawn facing the other way. Can't really decide. Can they face me? Oh, there's a little stripe on their hat, I think, that shows the direction they're gonna... Nope, never mind. That means nothing. It means nothing. Oh, jeez, why? I thought they always faced each other. Or at least always faced the same way. No, they always try to face me, I guess. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of worked. Huh. I'm just out. I'm out. I'm out. Getting out of here. Sweet. Uh, nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. At least these guys aren't snakes, and at least the fire isn't shooting me. The fire is so hard to avoid. The fire's like the worst enemy. Ah! Don't do that, bud. Oh yeah, this room again. Where is he? There he is. You could've dropped health, buddy. You could've dropped some health. Whoops. No, nope, I want this one. Thank you. He shows me, yeah, I'm still in the mermaid place, but I'm I'm figuring stuff out, which is really cool. It's a really cool dungeon. Concept-wise, I think it's my favorite. I'm not really a fan of mashing to swim around. And the music in the Moonlit Grotto is just so amazing, so I think that one's still my favorite dungeon, but this one conceptually is my favorite. but I don't want to get wall mastered. Okay. What? Wait. Oh my gosh! I upgraded my sword so I can just do this now. Wow! I should have tried that a lot sooner. Noble sword. I forgot about it. Sacred blade. I mean, it's no master sword, but it's still pretty noble. How you doing today, shows me. So cool. Yeah, this is where I wanted to be, right? Okay. Boop. Cool. Just got back from work. Nice. Hey, and I did figure it out, right? Because you were saying yesterday, see if I figure it out. Yeah, look, we're in the past, and uh, I'm messing up this dungeon nice and good for future me. <laughs> we got our fishy tail. Oh wait, so that's what I was gonna do here. But what's... Oh wait! No, that's where I need to be actually, is this one. We don't need to be underwater, so that's good. Man, this is... Oh man, okay. Okay. Oh, I see. We gotta throw some things. Best way to throw things is just try throwing some things. Okay, that obviously was not it. Oops, I didn't let go too soon. Oh, the block. The block! Aha. Boss key, though. I know the boss key. So, 
Wait, how come I couldn't go there? Is there deep water here somewhere that I'm not privy to? It doesn't look like it. Huh, so how do I do that? Unless I can blow up a wall going upwards here, maybe? We go back to the... No, this is the past. We got everything, we've been everywhere. Except there's a... The boss key's gotta be in one of those two rooms. There has to be some deep water that I haven't seen. There has to be. I guess it would go underwater. This song reminds me a little bit of another Zelda song, and I can't really think of which one. No, I probably should just go underwater here, right? That's probably it. Hey, do you guys have any experience with waterproof paper? I didn't know that was a thing, and then I learned about it, so I ordered a notepad, obviously, of waterproof paper. It says... So I figure waterproof paper, right? It's like... Water resistant, right? Like, if you get some water on it, it won't be totally destroyed. But it says... You can, like, take it in the shower. Like, it's like, try it. Try it in the rain. Try it when you're fishing. Try it in the shower. I'm like, in the shower? What? So that's kind of wild. I didn't expect that would be, you know, a thing. Ouch. Okay. So now I'm tempted to actually take it in the shower and see, because I get, you know, you get ideas in the shower. Shower is great for ideas, except it sucks because you can't write them down. But if you have waterproof paper, shower proof, is it like shampoo proof though? That's the question. If you get a little shampoo on there, is it gonna be okay? How do I get over there, man? Ah. At this point, Like, that's the boss room, right? I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to go, like, underwater in the boss room, and it's gonna, you know, or maybe he can push me underwater or something. But I need that boss key. But I know it's not in the present, because that doesn't make sense. But I'm trying to figure out where I get this boss key. Or, like, maybe... I thought we explored everything in the present, but I might not have, so it might be worth it. I don't know. Anyways, I'll report back to you guys. I'll try the waterproof paper. Oops. I'll, I'll, I'll try the waterproof paper. I'll let you know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna brave the shower with a notepad or not. I mean, I ordered a couple of them, so I can, I can have one for testing and one for proper use. But I just thought that was so cool. I didn't know waterproof paper was a thing. I guess like made of stone. Is it really heavy? I didn't know you can make paper out of stone, but I guess you can make paper out of kind of anything. It's like, it's taking me some time to get through it, but it's not because I'm, like, stuck or can't... Like, there's just a lot of things to try, I guess. I thought there was more water in the present day, though. So, there was that one spot. Although, admittedly, right now, I'm not really sure what to do. I kind of want to go to the past. I feel like... I know I am in the past. I kind of want to go to the future. But I don't think there's anything... Because all the treasure was in the past. The past, this is the actual dungeon. 
the future just had... No, the future... Wait. Where did I get my mermaid duds? Was that in the past or was that in the present? I already forgot. Maybe there were treasures in the present. I just remember seeing the treasure chests more on the past because I've had the compass longer. Well, maybe I... Ow. I was gonna let you live, you know. Maybe if we go back to the... Present. Past. Present. Yeah, present. We're in the past. But... Yeah, I just don't remember what that room looked like. Okay. We'll try, I guess, swapping again. Why not? It's kind of cool. Go to the present. This reminds me of exiting the the water temple in Majora's Mask. And then the turtle guy like brought you back to Zora's domain. You know? <laughs> Seems like a bad place for this. Just see music notes coming out of the waterfall. Oh no! <laughs> I knew that was a bad idea. Surely you must be able to make paper out of potatoes. Where can I get some tater paper? Yeah, that's definitely a thing, right? That has to be a thing, Glass, and now I feel like you're. It's your responsibility to look it up now. Darn it, I knew there were trees there. I knew it. I knew there were trees. I have a tater. After stream, I'm gonna make hash browns and eggs and it's so good. Cause I realized, I don't know why I never thought of this before, I was like, wait a second. I have a cheese grater, I can make those potato shreddies. You know, they make the shredded potatoes and they're like, they make them in restaurants and they're so good. I was like, oh dang, I can make my own. I'll put a ton of onion and garlic and salt and pepper. It'd be so good. Oh. Yeah, there's the tail, we didn't go in the tail. Okay, wait, where does this take me? Probably far, but I can check and then I can go back. Yeah, I'm gonna make my own. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Oh, you're talking about tater paper. Just make your own. It'd be like a potato chip that you can write on. Potatoes are pretty starchy, but other than that, I feel like they would they would receive ink, maybe? I know paint works on potatoes, because you know when you make potato stamps when you're Kid. Why potatoes? Why not something that isn't food? Seems like a waste of perfectly of potatoes, you know? Ow, don't come here. Yeah, potato stamps, right? I feel like every couple years I get nostalgic for potato stamps. I'm like, man, I'll make some potato stamps. And I'm like, yeah, but they'll be, like, moldy and yucky and I can't, like, reuse them, you know? Like, they're good for one day for a fun thing. You could use them with, like, food coloring. Wait, I think there's something in here that I need to... I'm not sure if I want to be in the water or not, but I think I probably do. There's gotta be, like... Go. Oh, right, this. Oh! Oh! There's a boss key, and there's some. Wait. Did I not? Wait. Well, let's go down the stairs. Oh, I think that part is not connected. I think I couldn't get there. Or maybe I just didn't walk to the right. If I just neglected to walk to the right, then I feel very dumb. Yay, it's one of these. These are usually bad news, but I like them anyways. Jumping over spikes, huh? Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Can make sponge stamps. There you go. Sponge or what was I thinking of? I was trying to think of something like like soapstone or something. Or I don't know, people will carve soapstone. I think that would be fun. Carve some soapstone. Sponge stamps would be cool, but they would have a lot of like air pockets in them, so. Why does this room feel familiar? Oh, that just no. If I if I had my boomerang out, maybe I could have been fast enough. I like this blue ladder; it's really pretty. But yeah, sponge stamps that could be good. I need a key for that. Where am I supposed to get all this stuff? That chest probably had a key in it, and I was supposed to get the key. Dang nabbit! 
Where am I? What? Oh, I'm in the tail. That makes sense. Oh, no, it's a BMOS! Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. There's so many guys. Wait, maybe this is the key. This is the boss key. This... 10 rupees. I got 10 rupees. When you get 30 rupees, it's like, that. that's nice. When you get 10, it's like, well, you got some rupees. So I need the key to get through here, so I have to go back up. And that's gonna be the key. Don't spend it all at once. Yeah, no kidding. 10 rupees. I wonder why they chose rupees for the currency. Because isn't that a real currency in India? They use rupees. I don't think they spell it the same, though. It's so weird how you can use these blocks in 2D, but not, not 3D. Is it spelled the same? I can't remember. I haven't seen it written in a long time, but... <laughs> Third time's the charm, Daisy. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why they did that. They just, they're like, okay, that's cool. We're just gonna yoink it. The country of, uh... Ah. In India just, like, files a copyright claim against Nintendo. And they're like, you can't steal our money name. Ah. I need to, wait. I need to get back to that upstairs place. I should have just checked it out. Why didn't I? When I was there, I should have. I don't- I don't remember how to get there. Oh, wait, no, we go down and around. We go down and around. Down and around. Oops. One more. This looks like the intro room, but it's not because they're torches and not these guys, but they kind of look like those guys. Not really, but that's where my brain went, I think. I'm getting real sick of these things, honestly. They're cute and they're funny, but I'm getting tired of setting them on fire. I feel mean every time. They're just minding their own business. They're not even coming after me. <laughs> they are funny, though. <laughs> We learned about wafer paper. Oh, he did some research. Which is made from potatoes, but it's more of a food thing than a writing thing. Oh, wait. They also missed the bone of calling it tater paper. Yeah, they should have. Maybe there's a brand of wafer paper called tater paper. There should be, right? If not, blast. Yo, I got a business idea for you. Little business idea. Ever start? Ever thought of starting a wafer paper company? They were meant to be rubies in Zelda? Interesting. So how come they ended up being rupees? Just translation thing? Oh, now we got the compass! Yo, uh, are you supposed to get the compass last? <laughs> okay, I still need a key. So wait, there's a key up there? And then... Wait, but I needed a key... Wait, I needed a key... It's like the- now this looks like a reindeer, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Mermaid. You know, like the- the antlers up here, and the- the nose, and- <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I think I've heard that before, that they were supposed to be called rubies. Also, I remember wafer paper, and I'm trying to remember what it's for. It's not like wax paper, I don't- I don't think. Wait, I needed a key for that room. For sure. So I think if we go top left... I'm trying to remember what that room looks like. That's the switchy room, right? I think. Or was that the one by the boss? I can't remember. Alright, well let's, uh... <laughs> it's more like rice paper. So all these food papers. What's rice paper for again? Oh, is that for, like, 
sushi or something? I don't remember. I've heard of rice paper, I just don't remember what it's for. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Man, we could have Pikachu. Someone misread the little circle for the little bubble dots or whatever. Oops. In Mario 3? What was it in Mario 3? What was the... Okay, this is good. We're right here. This is good. The P switches stand for block. Oh, there's supposed to be B switches! Whoa. Yeah, I think I'd rather just smack these guys than turn them into Stealthos. It feels like you should want to turn them into Stealthos, though. Because it's like a thing that you might not think of, right? Seems like a thing that you should want to do, but then it actually just makes them worse to fight. For some reason in that other room I forgot I could use my sword, so I used my switchy thing and then just now I remembered I could use my sword. Very strange. Brains are weird. Well, I think they gotta be paying attention. I can't remember what it's called, like the little thing that changes the letter from- or the- I'm using the word letter very loosely, because Japan doesn't really use letters, but you know. You know what I mean. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait. I've been here, right? Have I not? Did I not? Look at this a lot. Oh. Well, let's beat up everybody first, I guess. If I was right between them, I would have got them. It would have been great. There we go. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Probably can't make that jump. Okay. Oh, we gotta go down there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I knew I missed something in this room. There's so much going on in this room. So cool. Nice. I forgot about this direction. I want to say, say welcome back, but you're still here. Welcome still. Hope you still feel welcome. Um, hi. Again. <laughs> Here's the bus. Or the little key and then we write the little key. Bloop! Oh, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still here. In the mermaid dungeon. It's a long dungeon! Lots of going back and forth and having to leave and... You know, go back to the future and stuff. Maybe not. Maybe you could just do the past one and then the, f the present one and then that's it. But I went back and forth a lot. Lots of having to turn to a mermaid. Yeah. Link is a very pretty mermaid. He's a very graceful, elegant mermaid. That was wrong. That was incorrect. Um... Wait. What? Where we go home? Oh, wait, that might be... No, wait. Darn it! Wait, um... No, I jumped down here. I don't think there's another stairs. Nope. What if I could put a block on here and make it turn around? Well, that was the last thing I expected to happen. Alright. 
cool. <laughs> Over here again. Hmm, right. Wait. I got a key there, I think. This is the wrong way. This is the wrong I don't have to go this way. Now, there's a lot of Mermaid Link fan art. I don't think I've ever seen a single piece of Mermaid Link fan art, actually, now that you mention it. And I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> common fan art I see is the bi outfit. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the general consensus is that the mechanics, like the swimming, doesn't feel very good. Uh, oh, I forgot this was here. I was like, I can't be stuck. The game's too good to let me softlock myself in a dungeon. Which, by the way, that's just crazy. Like, dungeon designers are so smart. <laughs> They're like, oh, there's a, this is a way that someone's gonna get stuck. Except I don't want to go that way, right? I want to go the other way and then... Wait, can I go back up there? Oh, do I have to go around this whole thing again? Man, that's... Well, I gotta... Okay. Ugh. Oh. Is this how... Alright, whatever. Ugh, oh, my thumb, dude. <gasps> I guess we could use the analog stick for a bit. A little easier on the thumb. At least I'm not using the Pro Controller. My thumb would have fallen off by now. I think it's the worst D-pad I've ever used. I was waiting for somebody who was just like lurking to pipe up and be like, What do you mean? The Pro Controller has the best D pad ever. It's the greatest controller. I said it's the best thing I've ever used. You tell me you'd rather use a Game Boy than a Switch Pro Controller? Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Every time it comes up, there are people defending the D-pad on the Switch Pro Controller, and I will never understand why. Uh, was that not right? Uh, we gotta- I can't go up this way, wait. I forgot what my loop is for getting around. Gosh, this- I'm spending too much time in this room. And now we end up just being over there again. I just wanna go home. <laughs> Let me out of here, please. Uh... Really? I feel like I didn't have to do all this before. I must be doing something wrong. <laughs> I must be doing something wrong.
I like this animation. I think it's funny because Link isn't really going any faster. Like his animation, I mean, isn't really any faster. He just is tearing around really fast. Just put some dust, kicking up some dust. Wait, wait a second. I have to... Wait, do I have to turn that one around again and then... How am I having trouble with this? How am I... Because I need to be... Right, so now... Wait, can I get all the way... Wait, can I go all the way left? No, there's a wall here, right? What the hell? Oh my gosh. Marty solved this. Yeah, I forgot about the uh I forgot about the noble sword. <laughs> Cuz I think I could do it with the was it called the- no, what was it called in Seasons? It wasn't called the Noble Sword, right? It was something else. I thought it was the Noble Sword and then the Master Sword. Alright, which way do I need this to go? Okay, so the, the one on the right is going the wrong way. But I need to flip it and then... Because going up here doesn't do anything in the middle, so... Is it the noble sword in both? I thought it was a different word, but yeah, I guess it was. Okay. Okay, if I go through the left side, it'll turn it to go the other way, and then I can... Okay. I think I got it. I forgot that this was connected too, so that messed me up. Okay, so that's up there, so now we run around again, I think. Wait. Except... Wait, what? <laughs> I thought that one was going there right No, I need to turn that one around. This screen looks like. This is all connected. <sighs> this is a long way to run to reset one of the things. Maybe it was luck when I got this so quick the last time. Flip it that way. Wait, except what? But then I'm gonna flip it the wrong way again. me up because it had to be blue and so I got it blue but it actually had to be orange so that I could switch it to blue because I had to be on the other side of it. So wait no this is wrong. What the heck? What? What is happening? Gosh. I 
wish I could see this whole room because I keep not remembering how things go. Um, this needs to be turned around again. But if I turn around, it keeps me locked on the right side. But I need to, I need it to be blue when I'm on the left side. So. But then I have to. to get to the right side with it orange, but I can't really do that. Oh! Wait, no, I can't- oh, I can't go up here. I can go the other way around. Gosh, this is so confusing. I can't go around this way because there's a- no, I can, but- me that way again. Except now at this rate, I just need to- I need to be on the right side. That's still facing the wrong way, so this isn't really helpful. I wonder if I can just- maybe these pots are here for a reason, eh? Maybe I can just- wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so much faster. So I could jump down there and then push it to the right, but then I have no way of getting back to the left there. Like, I just I did this earlier. Now I have to. I did not have to do this before. What the heck? Ah, uh, hey, Archangel. How's it going? Yeah, I don't know why I, I'm not seeing pots as paths. I should be seeing pots as paths. Uh, I can't. Wait, can I go? I can't go up from there, so I have to. Wait. I can't go back that way. I have to go in like this, and then I have to jump off, and then I have to come down the bottom one. You gotta see Pots' as paths! Sheesh, wait, I need to go to the very bottom one. Can I do that? Can I not do that? Do I have to switch it one more time? This feels very long and tedious, but I might just be- I'm probably just doing it suboptimally. I know I have been up till this point. Now we go down the bottom one. Oh my goodness, okay. Nope, this needs to be the bottom one. Wait, how do I get to the bottom one? Wait, what? Ah! What? <laughs> now I'm in the bottom one. I need to turn it around and then... Gosh. Just got hung up on the weirdest things. Okay, now we jump down. And we... Let me jump all the way down now. Aye, aye, aye. No, all the way down. Wait, this is where it was. <laughs> Nightmare. How do I keep doing the same thing? This is the bottom one. It's not the bottom one. I already did this room too. I think I just came here to check something, which kind of makes it worse. Like, I could just- I could just death warp. That would have been so much faster to just like- so much faster to just like fall in a hole until I died and then right. I can 
come from this side to that side, but not back. basically need to be on the right side of where I'm already trying to go to turn it back so that I can be on this side here when it's blue. Or I have to go to the top when it's orange. I don't, I don't think I can get to the top because that's like up the stairs. Just making sure there's still nothing cool up here. stuck on a stupid thing right now. <laughs> How's it going? You ever like solve a puzzle and then like unsolve it in your head and you're like, what? How is your stream? It's good to see you. Hey everybody, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. What's good? Hey Chimera Man. Hey Dewins. How's it going? MNC. Hey everybody. Hey Jeff. Still playing like a dragon. I think that's what you were playing last time I checked in on you, which was a while ago. But that game looks like so much fun. I just keep running in this in circles here. We're doing this really cool dungeon. It's it's the mermaid mermaid's cave. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Angel change seasons during this cave? Well, I, I don't know how to change the seasons in this one, but we've been changing the age. This is a really cool one. It's a really cool one. Hey, I thought that Shaggy emote was... Is cute the wrong word? Cute might be the wrong word. Hey, wait, I think I do need this to be flipping the other way. If I come down the middle... Wait, if I... Ah, uh, this is taking me way too- I did- I did this already- look, we have the whole- I need to go down to the tail of the mermaid here and, like, get a boss key. I'm just trying to get back out. I could just- I could just off myself and I could just death warp. This sounds a little nicer to say it that way. I could just- I could just death warp. But at this point, now it's personal, so... <laughs> you know? So, no. Now I have to do it right. Death warping is super convenient. Now it's like a pride thing. You know what I mean? So, thank you, bot. He likes that word. <laughs> do I find the dungeons harder? I'm not sure. I think... Like, I don't think this is hard. I think this is just me being tired and stupid, honestly. This is not... I don't think this is difficult, this part. This is a skill issue. <laughs> I think overall, like, um... I, I, I think the seasons one... Well, this one was kind of tricky, because you needed two keys and you gotta do it in the past and the present, which is so cool. That is the coolest thing. You know, so cool. See, then I run out here and I can't really do much. I'm just gonna wobble around with this, I guess. <laughs> and now we're up here. And now what? Now what do we do we're up here? I don't know. But I think... Oh, right, I was gonna... Ouch. Right, I remembered that I could do the pots thing, so... If I jump across... Wait, I shouldn't have done that. I should have got this orange first. Or something. I don't know. That one has to be orange, this one has to be blue, and I have to be in between them. Ah. Oh, I know, I know. I think overall, it's hard to say. Because I played Seasons as a kid, so I remember it being really hard, but also I was a kid, and I... I don't think I had as much trouble with it now. 
So we just played Seasons, and then now we're doing the, uh... Oh wait, this'll... Hey, this should do it, this should do it, this should do it, I think. I think this'll do it. Hang on, hold that thought, Chad. Hold that thought. I think I got it. I think I actually got it. Oh. Huh? We go like this. And then we go up here. And then... We go here. No! I jump! Ah! Link! No, why? No! Why Link? Oh no, I had it! <laughs> I had it. I was gonna go in the pots and then I was- Oh, ah! oh man, he- he died. Uh, Sometimes I feel like he should have to- Oh man, how do I set this up again? Crap, I don't even remember what it looked like. It was blue and red, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! The last time I did that, I jumped down a thing by accident. It was in like the- the Goron- I can't show you the map right now, but I was in like the Goron area. That place is already so confusing. And then I like hopped down a ledge and it took me like an entire stream to get back to where that was. I could not remember. All right, I need to make this thing blue, I think. I don't know, let's just... Yeah, it's Link's fault, not me. So that's... I mean, that's basically how I want it, right? So, okay. I want this one to be red. <laughs> I want this one to be red, so I have to jump across. The thing is, if you're too far, like, he won't grab it. Wait, that was a bad... Get my way back. Oh, okay. So you can be a little further for that one. So if we switch it this direction... You see you see what, I, what I'm doing here? Okay. So this is how we want it. Except I need to be on the other side of this, so... Can I jump down left here? Oh yeah, I can. So we got the speed seeds going and everything. Anyways. Oh hey, there actually is a new video today. I've been doing not so great with YouTube, but I'm trying. I'm trying harder. New video going up. And it's actually a Seasons one. Oh yeah, so we beat Seasons. It was really good. Of course. It's my most nostalgic Zelda. I think I can't go to the bottom, I can only come from the bottom. So here I need to, I don't know, do this again. <laughs> you hate puzzles. <laughs> they hurt my brain a little sometimes. I like them. I really do. But sometimes they make me feel kind of dumb. Or like I'm just not getting it, you know? But since I found out that it's very likely that I have ADHD, I'm a little bit nicer to myself. Oh, is this right? No. No, it's not. But it's closer to being right. Where was I last time it was good when I was orange? <laughs> I like the puzzles in these games, so I just think they're really interesting. I don't remember. The thing is, I have a lot of trouble with this, and I've heard that this is an ADHD thing, but the out of sight, out of mind. So, like, as soon as this room is gone, like, I can't remember. So here, right, there's, like, three ways to get into this little spinner thing from the left side, and I can't remember how they connect on the left side. Like, until I go there. Even though I've just been doing this for... I'm not gonna say how long, because it's probably too long that I've been doing this now. So the, the top two, I guess, connect, but not the bottom one. But then the bottom... I can get from the bottom one up to, like, the top ones, so... Oh wait, so now I just... Oh, this is it! This was it! <laughs> I'm also not using save states. Like, I'm, I'm saving them as a backup. Imagine if I fell down there and then... Oh, I don't want to think about it. Wait, I can't go all the way to the top. I can only go here. Ah! <laughs> Rouse of friends. You like and hate puzzles. Yeah, it's... Ah. Uh, so, now... What? What? <laughs> I had it, Chad. I had it. Dang, it. I had it. But I do really like this dungeon, but it's definitely not my favorite. Maybe just because of this. This wasn't even giving me trouble before, but now it is, and that's odd. Mega jump? Maybe. I don't think you're supposed to, though. I thought of it, but I think you can only do- wait, is it four spaces? I mean, maybe you can? I'm not sure if you're supposed to. I don't think you have to. No, 
Nah, you can't. You could at the bottom, but it's too small. So I don't think you're supposed to do it that way. I had thought of that, though. Like, logical issues more than puzzles? No, oh, I guess that's true. I kind of like the creative ones. Like, I think puzzles in, uh, like, like, Tears of the Kingdom. The whole game is, like, a big puzzle. And there's a million ways to solve everything. So that one's, you know, in a way that... Like, I feel like there's no wrong answer. Like, there are so many solutions that you're gonna get it. Yeah, so this is weird. Because how did I have it? I have to either be up here with it orange. Or down there with it blue. But, but I can't... I can't get to the top or the bottom. I can only get there from the switcheroo. So how did... <laughs> I'm not even sure how I did this. I already, I already did this. Unless I jump down the middle and mess it up again. I guess that's what I have to do. Anyways. I hope you guys are doing really great. That might have been enough to offset it. I don't know. Because now it's basically where I need it. Maybe I can mess with the right one. But I can't get to... <laughs> ah, I can't get to the left. Why is this giving me so much trouble? Like I said, I just did this and it was fine. But I need to mess up the right one. Okay, what if I mess this one up again? Okay, I'm gonna try... Because this one is correct, and the other one is incorrect. And I think it's a case... It really feels like I can be on any one of these three roots on this side with it either color. I think that's a trick. So it's like, it's a setup. We need this one to be blue so that when we go on it, it turns orange? Yeah, I think. Okay. We'll see. I have I have a plan. Kind of. So we do that. And now... Okay, if we jump down, it'll put us in the middle. And then we can go to the top. And then that's gonna be orange. No, so I want this one to be blue, not orange. I think now we can just mess with the left one. I think I, like, reversed it. I think they were kind of linked. Kind of linked. We got a lurk for now. Hey, have a good lurk. Thanks for joining in on the raid and saying hey and stuff. I can't get to the bottom one. This'll put me in the middle. No, I don't want to be put in the middle. I want to... I don't know. I think I have it... You know what I mean, right? There's, like, set rules for it, and I think we have it in the right position now. Because before, the middle would always push me up, right? So I think now... We might be onto something. <laughs> and then... Then we're gonna, you know, finish this dungeon. It's gonna be awesome. So now we go up. Oh, wait. So that, that really didn't matter, then? Wait. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's like, which one is- it's like, which one is the, um... It's like, which one is the second one you have to go through? I wish I could pan my camera a bit. It, it really- the most trouble I have with puzzles is when I can't see the whole puzzle. That's- that's what's really getting me with ages. Hey, Kotai. I'm liking it a lot. I think it's really cool. I think- I still like Seasons a little better, but I think together they are like the best 2D Zelda experience. It's really cool how they interact with each other and stuff. I like ages. Um, I feel like there's a lot more just kind of confusing things where it, like things aren't explained or you have to kind of stumble on stuff. Like getting the map from the weird guy it took me way too long. Getting through the whole Goron area, that whole place is a maze. That took me too long. This is taking me too long. I don't know how many hours I have on this game, but I think we beat seasons in about 40. And we're well over 40 hours now. Well, this is episode 11, I think? So we're like 43 hours in or something, and we're, we're only on the sixth dungeon. So it is taking some more time. Like, looks like he's hypnotized. Maybe he is. Like, from where- okay, so from here, I basically need to be up there, so I just ride the thing down and then 
you know? But it's like, it can't be up here when it's orange. Because the only way to get up here... Okay. The only way to get up here, right, is to either do like this, like I just did, or to jump across. So that means that when it's orange, I need to jump across from that side. So I need to be on that side, but then I have to make sure I set up the bottom one. I must have done this by accident. Like, what? So... But from here, I can jump down. Now I'm just messing it up again. This is... I don't know. You can't see how I can't see it? Oh, wait! Oh, but I just ruined it, didn't I? I just ruined it. Because <laughs> I could have... I think from the top, I could have jumped on the left. But that's what I mean. I can't see it, so I can't see it. But that's what I had to do. I had it. I had it. I had to jump down on the left and then... Okay, so if they're both blue, it's okay as well. Oh, man. So now I need to reset this one and make it blue again. So as long as the right one is blue, then I'll be fine on the left. But it's because I'm trying to just remember what's on, like off screen and I, I just can't... But now we have it again. So now... We got it. Don't go too close to the edge. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Okay, now we have it. Ah, yes, we're out of here! Oh, that took way too long. I don't want to think about how long we were in there. Oh, boy. Oh, no, it's these guys. Oh, wait, I could just get wallmastered. That would be easy. Should I just get wallmastered back to the beginning? I mean... Actually, I think the room next to... Oh! <laughs> Oh wait, it's this room. I thought this one was, um... Oh yeah, the boss was in the- You know what? Alright. I'm gonna close my eyes. Alright, Wallmaster. Come and get me. Uh, feels so yucky. Okay. Alright. That was actually kind of handy. <laughs> that was just the first word that came to mind and it was accidentally a pun. Now that we're firmly here, I forget what I was doing. Um, alright. Let's burn these candle guys again. Wow, that took so long. Hey, raiders and everyone, I'm sorry. That took so long. That was... That was dumb. I know that was dumb. I have so much trouble with, like, stuff I can't see, though. Like, if I... If it's not on screen, it's like it's not there. I don't remember. So I'm trying to make a point. Like, when I started stream today, I went through, like, okay, this is what is in all of these rooms, you know, trying to remember what they all look like before I started running around the dungeon. And for the most part, I remembered, so that was pretty good. Alright. Why are we here? I forgot. I think we have to go in the stairs on the right. Yeah. So I think we have to jump across. I think that's what I screwed up last time. Well, that's not what I want. I want this. Alright, we're making progress again. Yes. But that that kind of thing? That's why I never beat seasons as a kid. It was I was even worse when I was a kid. It was just so overwhelming. But it's still a little overwhelming sometimes, but I feel like I'm getting better, so. So that's good. I think it was Chimera who mentioned, like, logic versus creative puzzles earlier, and that's such a- that's such a good way to describe it, because there's a lot of puzzles that are creative, where you can kind of just- oh, there we go- where you can just kind of come up with a solution, and I like those. The logical ones, I like too, like, I really like logic puzzles. You know, like those- especially, like, the- the ones they actually just call logic puzzles, where it's like, oh, uh, there were five- couples who each went on a date, you know, and you have to figure out, like, who's each husband's wife, like, which two people or each couple and where they went on the date and what day it was or something, and you have, like, the... Okay. And they have, like, a chart and you cross-reference stuff. Those are a lot of fun. I like stuff like that. Just gonna put my bomb shoes away. Okay. The creative ones are cool, but... I think sometimes when there's only one answer, it can be really hard to find. Test your luck? Oh, I don't want to test my luck. I only got two hearts. I want to go with the left one. So it's probably going to be the right one. 
But I think right might be wrong in this case. Oh, please. No, it's snakes. Actually, that's good. It's actually good if they drop health. Nope, that's rupees, not health. You could drop some health. Come on. Thank you. Hey, wait, if I do that again, do I get more snakes I can farm health up? Nice. Haha. <laughs> ah! I didn't see that one there. I just want the sound to stop. Ah. If you randomize, you gotta randomize. Man, I played Wind Waker up to the point where they take your sword away and you have to sneak around and there's rats and I found it scary because I was young, I guess. I'm not very good at stealth games. <laughs> when, I, when I get around to streaming that, I'll probably still find it scary. Wasn't there another snake over here? Yeah. Oh, come on! Just drop a heart. Have a heart, man. <laughs> ah, stop it! It keeps spawning in beside me and then... This isn't- my strategy isn't really working. Oh, it worked enough. Okay. Now we pull this sun. We get a- We still get- wait a second, is it just random every time? Are you kidding? It was actually le it was right three times in a row and then when I switched to right it was left. No way. Wow, that is amazing. There's our boss key. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've been snoozing this out as much as I can. Let's take our last break, and then we'll go fight the boss, and we'll just- We should be able to just finish up this dungeon. That'll be good. That's funny, because I was trying to get snakes on purpose to get health off of, and then it was random. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. We'll be back in five to seven. Hey, listen to some cool music, okay? Ooh, King of the Night. Hey, you want to hear King of the Night? You want to hear Lava Dance? Oh, those two go hard, if I do say so myself. Um, listen to some homemade chip tunes. And uh, we'll be back in five to seven. Have a good break.
like, share, and hope you enjoyed them chippy tunes. Boop! Time to go fight a boss! Time to go fight a boss. In the past. Time to go to the past. Death warping would be really handy here. Maybe I should just do that. Do this. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, spy. Up next to the past. Darn right. Man, this game is so cool. How you doing? Can that be right? It might be right or it might be left. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, nice. It's so weird that you just randomly need the cane for this spot. Every time they- it's like they give you a gear check and it's like, could I really make it here without the cane, though? Like... What? Where'd that heart go? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what just- what? What happened down there? Did you- did a bat just, like, explode? What happened? What was- something weird happened. What happened? I killed that bat, and the heart disappeared. What? <laughs> did you see that? What the heck happened to that bat down there? He just- he just got wrecked. <laughs> what was that all about? That was so strange. Did you see that? That was weird. Weird. Weird game. Yeah, I didn't like the block. Does the block damage things? Was that legit? Are they supposed to get hurt if they bump into the block? Or do you think he just bugged out there? Was that a bat bug? I'm curious, but I'm not curious enough to waste time checking right now. Snakes! Come to the present. We have snakes! Gosh. Very many snakes. That was so bizarre. Mmm, bit of health, please? No? No, no health. Alright. I think I can get health from this. Okay, we have four hearts. Wonder if it'll work. Oh, we can get the potion! That's- no! It'll save me 300 bucks. Oh, I can't take it from her, right? Oh, she did- she took my health! What a witch. And I can't- Oh, no! Oh, my god. Oh, man. Today is not my day, chat. What the heck? Just give me a heart. Just get rid of- oh, my god. It's just not my day. What the heck was that? I walk into the thing by accident. But I never actually noticed her taking my health before. That was rotten. That was really... Oh yeah, we have to mash now. That was a good mechanic that they uh, added here for the mermaid stuff. Alright, so now we're in the past where the boss is. I don't remember how to navigate, so we'll just go. We'll just go for it. Um, not that way. This way. <clears throat> ah! Oh, come on. What? What do you mean? Oh, I got hit by the jinx. I got jinxed. This is where I got this is where I wanna go. Well, this should give me a fairy right before the boss, I think, so. Yeah, so random. The wait, I don't need the feather yet. I need the uh this. I like how when you push the pot you get whatever's in it. That one always has health. That's kinda cute. It's like a hint. This is the one you're looking for. What's your guys' favorite 2D Zelda? I guess, well, I guess Link Between Worlds is usually the one that the chat's like, oh yeah, or Link to the Past. Or usually both. Oh god, oh god, oh god, get away from me, get away from me! Sometimes I'm not sure, you know, if my wild swinging is gonna hit the wall master or not, but I'm too, like, I can't really reposition. It'd be riskier to try to re-aim, you know? These two, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if Link Between Worlds counts. It is like this format, so I would I would say it counts, right? I would say it counts as a 2D. It's like 3D graphics. It's like New Super Mario Bros. It's not a 3D. I say 2.5D. I think you're just getting into uh, being too specific. Technically, is both. I mean, I haven't really. Pl I played the very beginning of it. I mean, okay. So, I guess, don't spoil, but I guess, like, when you go in the walls, that's, like, completely 2D. But that's, like, saying this is 3D, because right now I'm moving, like, you know, it, like, Link is, I don't know. Because I think it, in, uh, in Link Between Worlds, it's not 3D, like, like, Ocarina of Time or something. Like, it's still a top-down 2D, like, the walls don't move around and stuff, right? Dimensions don't sp they're not split in half, yeah. That's an, a whole other thing. Like, yeah, the graphics are 3D, right? You have a 3D model and stuff. 3D models in Link Between Worlds. But I, what I'm saying is, like, yeah, it's just more 2D when you're on the walls. But I actually, I haven't, I don't remember anything. I played the very beginning. I think I met Ravio, but I don't really know anything about him. I don't, I'm really looking forward to playing it. So, you know, please don't spoil anything. But I think, like, um... I don't know what it's like when he's on the wall. My- right now, my guess is that... Actually, I think he moves around the walls. He just is a picture. It's not- Because I almost think of it as, like, when you go down the ladders in this game, and then that's, like... That's, like, even more 2D than this, you know what I mean? Like... This is 2D, that's almost... 1D. Almost. But he can, like, jump, so you can still go on, like, the Y... You know? But yeah. <laughs> um, alright. It was just this. Okay, boss time. Ow! You stupid bat. Alright, we're good. <laughs> boss time! Oh, let me dive. Let me see what this is all about. Okay. I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight him now. Oh god! Oh, that's so cool! He's bombing me down here! Okay. What? Wait, what is this thing? Can I bomb it? No. You're a funny-looking mermaid there, bud. What's in here? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know if you want scent seeds. Do you want scent seeds? Ha! Hey, turn your face around so I can shoot you. Ha! What? Oh. It's crazy seeing the whole screen as this deep water. Okay, what? Maybe I have to bomb him now. When he's like this. And then throw seeds when he's... Hold still, Dagnabbit. Will you stay put? Ha! Oh! Wait, I think that went in the water. Ha! He's literally asking for it. Look at his mouth just all... Oh, I... Oh! Whoa, what? Ow, let me... Did he... Wait, what? What? That didn't happen before. Wait, what? He was down there. What? He wasn't down here before. Oh, there's bubbles! Wait, do I just fight him however I want? This is actually kind of better, right? Why scent seeds? Who gives a heck about scent seeds? <laughs> okay, now we go up! Cool! I'm not sure how you can tell when he's up and down because that didn't really... Didn't, oh, okay. it did get him, okay. What? That didn't... What? You have to get him from behind. <laughs> what? So do I throw bombs at him right now, or do I go down? I guess I go underwater. But I kind of want to... Ouch. I really want that to land in his mouth. I mean, look at it. He's got this big old mouth right... That should have got him. Hey, this is cool. Oops, I'm mashing B. I feel like there was one where you mash B to move. I wonder what's with the bubble. What if you- you can- I'm assuming you can swim underwater. Or I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you can breathe underwater 
with the mermaid tail. Maybe I don't need my Zora ring anymore. I'm gonna start drowning if I take off my ring. Can I just... Can I just breathe underwater now? I mean, that's sick. The water gun? Ouch. Wait, it's not a water gun. It shoots... It looks like a bicycle horn, actually. So you do have to just... Ow! I didn't even see him do that. I thought that would get him for sure. Did he's only drop... Now I can just hit him? Wait, what? Ow! No, you're kidding! It landed right on me? Yo, can he do that? Cheater. Oh no, the hardest part is getting back to him. You know, that's good, because I didn't really fully understand the fight, and I didn't really want to beat him without fully understanding it. So he has two modes. I guess one he goes, like, he flips upside down, and there's like a big chunk of him that's underwater. So, that's, uh, neat. So then you have to go underwater and hit that part of him. Or not, because it looked like you could just kind of... It's weird. I can't be using this. Um, there we go. <laughs> oh, it also picks things up. I don't think I noticed that. It makes sense. I probably would have assumed it picks things up and doesn't just swap your place with, like, a seed on the ground. A lot of work to get back to him. Okay. Take that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do you guys- <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know why- Like, it's not even that bad being sent- Like, they don't even hurt you, right? But for an enemy that doesn't hurt you, wall masters are absolutely horrifying. I don't... I don't know. Childhood trauma, maybe? Like, I freak out every time they get close to me. It's so bad. I don't even know why. Because they're, like, the least dangerous. Where am I trying to go? Left? An angry tentacruel. Hey, I tried that Poke Rogue game that you guys are talking about. I thought it was Rogue Emerald when it was first brought up. I thought that's what people were talking about. No, everyone's playing Poke Rogue. If you're gonna play it, do it now before Nintendo throws a fit, because they might they might just do that. I'm not saying that Nintendo doesn't love their fans and uh, their fans' creations, but mm, you know. Just saying. Oops. So we need our little pea shooter here. Okay, so that's not hurting him right now. He's above water. Okay, so when he's above water, I cannot shoot him directly, but I think I can shoot like- Oh, wait, now I can- Oh, no, he flipped around. Okay. Hit him with my sword when he comes close. Wouldn't that be easy? Is that always okay? It does track me. Wait, come back here. I was gonna try my sword on you and I forgot. So is he underwater now? Okay, that doesn't work. So he's underwater, I think? Yeah, okay. And I can't- wait, can I just use my sword underwater on him? Oh, I can use the- He's like an Alma star, actually. Alma star. You can hit the squishy. You can hit his squishy part. Wow, that was horrible. Okay. You can hit his squishy part. Cool. It would make more sense to have my sword on A and then this on B. Just confusing, but maybe I'll do that. I kind 
of like that pot there, a little bit of protection. Ha! Wait, I tried that already. Oh wait, he's underwater now, so he's supposed to be underwater. Ow! Get away from me! Stop it! He is hurting me so fast! I'm not even sure what the correct way to fight this guy is. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Oh, jeez, I moved and did... Okay. So, stand and then... Okay, that's how you beat that. Oh, what? Oh, that one did a cross? I thought they always made an X. So maybe if I go down here... And then... Oh, God. He, co he comes after me when I'm underwater. Like, I feel like I'm pretty protective of my IPs and stuff, too, but, like, I don't know. It feels a little different when it's such a big company and, like... I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think the best thing that Nintendo could do, and I'm not, I'm not saying this is what I want Nintendo to do, even though it is. I think the best thing that they could do for themselves and for the community... Let me know what you think about this. I think this would be just the best thing ever. If they made, like, a web-based eShop where you could buy, you could legally buy ROMs for, like, the old games, like these, you could actually buy the Game Boy ROM, you could buy GameCube, N64, whatever. They don't need to, like, start selling N64s again, they don't need to deal with emulators and stuff like that, they could just sell you the ROMs. There are enough third-party emulators out there, right? If they wanted to, just saying, they could approach the developers of, you know, Dolphin and stuff like that and be like, hey, you know, and they could, they could, like, fund it, right? They'd be like, here, fund it sounds like, but, you know, they could, it could be, like, their, their thing, right? They just, like, hire them to, you know, hire these emulator creators, like, the creators of, like, BGB and those are, like, the only emulators I know are Dolphin and BGB. Oh, no, I'm... I don't like being jinxed because there's no way- well, because you can't use your sword, obviously, but there's also no way to tell that you're jinxed. It's like you just have to count to three after you notice being hit by one of those guys. And for some reason you can't use the seeds on them in this game. I don't think you could in Seasons either, so maybe... Link's Awakening was after these, right? Or was it before? I had in my head that it was like an older game, but it might be newer. I can't remember. But wouldn't that be neat? You know, they could have their own store, and they could offer the emulators on there too, even, you know? They could, like... They could hire on these teams of all these people who are already making the emulators, you know, make them legit so they don't have to worry about Nintendo coming after them, because I'm sure that's in the back of all of their minds. Right? And just make, like, a web store, and then... If they were able to make, like, an emulator that you could run, like, a virtual console for Switch, I mean, that would be cool. But, I mean, just let people run it on their computers. But I guess the other issue with that is then you have to buy a Switch. But they could, even if they made the emulators expensive, I don't know about you, but I would pay like 50 bucks for an emulator. And then, like, if it, le if it was like a virtual Game Boy, heck yeah. Heck, I've spent $50 on an actual Game Boy within the last, like, five years. <laughs> and then they could put, like, cool emulator settings or whatever. I just think that would be such a cool idea. And that's the other thing. Like, I understand, like, Nintendo's not in the wrong, but they're just overly aggressive, I think. You know? I'd like to see them do more, like... Like, what happened with the developers of Sonic Mania, right? Like, that's cool. I wonder... Why, why scent seeds? That doesn't really... So he turns around... Okay. Pay attention. He turns around as that, and then I can hit- so I can hit that side. Or I can go underwater, but underwater he kind of is a beast. Look at him. You know? Oops, that's not- I can't. This is really weird. I have to- you know. But I mean, it's not like- it's not like Nintendo is losing money when people- emulate their games. It's just the principle of the thing, and, like, I can understand that. 
Like, you know, that, I'm like, okay, I get it. And copyright stuff in Japan is kind of a little harsher than it is here, I think. I wonder if I can get him to, like, turn around for longer so I can actually have time to smack him. Whoops. But I think that would be cool, right? Nintendo could, I mean, like, the Switch will obviously still be, like, their main thing, and, like, you know, people will want to play it and that. And for new games, right? But just for old games, they could let you... That would be cool. I think that would be cool. Yeah, I, I agree, Daisies. Like, there are people who probably could be... could be gone after that maybe deserve it a bit more. <laughs> Wait, is he underwater? He's underwater. I like it, and I- I keep pressing B because that's my sword button, right? Like, he's such a bully! Dude, let me- I can't even get away from him, he's so fat. What's with the bubble? What's with the bubble? I don't- It'd be nice if these pots dropped health once in a while. so inconsistent. Turn around. Turn around. Is that still gonna hit me? Oh gosh, he's underwater. Nope, I- Dang, nabbit dude! That was so cheap. He wasn't even that- wait, what? Wait, are there two of- what is going on? Are there two of him? He wasn't even in the same place as me. What? He wasn't even in position to hit me. He was not there. Oh my gosh, okay. That felt really dirty to me. <sighs> Alright, just- no, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone! Ah! I'm not a fan of having to do this over and over. If they did a remake, it would be cool. If they, you know, I solved the puzzle. I don't know what you want me to prove right now, you know? What do you think I need to prove? I'm doing this again. It was like the other switchy one where they're like, mm, I'm not sure you remember how to do this. Uh -huh, you can't get me. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's getting me. Fine. Sucks when you walk into the wall by accident and that takes your sword charge. Oh, I didn't get the health out of here yet, at least. Okay, that works. That's another thing. Doesn't China have, like, really crazy copyright laws? Like, there's so many Chinese knockoffs of, like, everything, and it's like, how did I get away, get away with that? It's so weird. No, 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 no! Oh, that was the worst! Oh, man! That's the worst. Oh. Heckin' wall masters, dude. They're so hard to avoid. <sighs> you just give me a heart, please? Just have a heart, dude. Have a heart. Ah, no! No. Okay, we have a little bit more. That's a fair point. I think that's true. <laughs> They're probably really mad about that and really upset that they can't do anything. That's a really, really lovely sound, isn't it? Don't you just love that sound? It's so beautiful. Alright. Okay, that works. Ah! Oh no! Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna fight this guy. That's also a good point. 
It's a pretty bad point, but I mean, your point is good, but it's you know what I mean. That's not a. <laughs> like yeah, but uh, we're making money, so you know. Little, little less than scrupulous, I guess. Maybe he'll leave me alone. No, he's- this guy's act- like, he's like actively hunting me. Haha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> no, you're over there now. <laughs> Take that. That guy's brutal. He's like not a normal- that was not a normal whiz robe. I wonder if that was actually a blizz robe. Did we have blizz robes back then? Back now? Back, back in this game? Did they actually have blizz robes? Because I don't think they normally shoot three like that. Pew, pew, pew. You know? <sighs> okay, that time I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting some waterproof paper today. It says you can take it in the shower, but I'm not sure if I believe that. It'd be kind of wild, though. Would you guys keep, like, a notebook in your in your shower? I feel like I have so many good ideas there, but most of them are, like, music ideas, so I'd have to try to, like, write music while I'm in the shower, which seems harder. I feel like a voice recorder would be better in that situation. But I can't wait for it to rain so I can go out and, like, write in the rain and try that. Weird one. I'm not sure what the most graceful way to fight him is. I guess just paddle for my life when I'm underwater. <laughs> when I'm above water. Okay. The thing is. I'm not sure what the thing is. Never mind. I'm not sure what the thing is. It takes so long to get back to him. There was one in, I think it was linked to the No Link's Awakening that was like really annoying to get back to. All right. We have to mess up our whole control scheme for this. I feel like that should have gone in. So mad that it didn't. I don't know if I want these pots here or not. I like being able to hide behind them, but, you know. So now he's underwater. So he's not doing anything to me up here. I don't think I can actually hurt- So right now I can't hurt him unless I go underwater, but also he can- be He can't hurt me unless I go underwater, so I'm gonna just, you know, not go underwater. That's what makes sense, right? Oh, he can do this. Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> Oh, maybe he doesn't come up until I hit him? I swear he was cycling before I realized what was going on. Well, if he's there, I'm gonna dive down over here. Whoops, that's... Do I want to sword him? What's with the bubble? Ah! What's with the bubble, dude? So now we go back up. Oh, I just wanna... I never get him in time. I wanna try... Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh. Okay, I got this. This is probably the most interesting- this is definitely the most interesting boss fight so far, though. And up we go. Oh, jeez, he's so fast! He always beat me up here. Take that! I don't know what's up with the scent seeds, they don't really seem to help a whole lot. 
I dare say they do darn near nothing. Okay, that was a really fun fight. That was cool. That was a really good one. I like that fight. Took me a little minute to get the hang of it, but it was a good one. I think the part of the boss fight that took the longest was just getting back to him after I died. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Just in time. Well, three minutes late, but just in time almost. Be centered. Be centered. centered. Link. Close enough. There we go, okay. <laughs> Got the bereft peak, an essence of time. None of these feel- these all feel very nature-y and not so much timey, but I guess time is nature. There's a proud lonely spirit that remains stalwart, even in trying times. Chat, let us all aspire to remain as stalwart as the bereft peak in times of trial. Yo, hey, Bull Crown, it's been a minute. Hope you're doing well. She's usually like throwing dandelion seeds at me. Link, I have great news! Yo, that's a different, different, uh, it's a change. Queen Ambie has just left the palace. Now is your chance. Get her. It's maybe your only opportunity to save Nehru. Okay, well, um, that's cool, Maku Tree, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Man, I'm a little annoyed that they messed up my swimming, but, you know. Wait, so is that. Past Maku Tree or Prez? I guess it's. Oh, wait, yeah, she's in the past, so cool. Let's uh, whoosh back to town, and then that's where we'll leave it for today, I think. <laughs> You're up finally. You slept in a bit? It's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna go make some brunch after. Oh, whoa. I put the wrong. He doesn't even hold it. It's like a. He's not even touching it. It's just like a. That's cool. I picked the wrong sword. Uh, here we go. Serious plot in the offing? What you making? Uh, progress. For once. <laughs> it's been so many streams since we actually did something. I'm very happy that we actually got this done. So we'll go see Queen Ambie, but we'll do that tomorrow. Because we're four hours. I gotta go make some some food. Um, oh, what am I making for food? That's what she meant. <laughs> I had to say it again and then... Uh, I'm making eggs and hash browns because I have a potato. A potato. But it's a big potato. So it'll be good. I'm gonna shred it like, che like you know, like shredding cheese. And I'm gonna put onions and garlic and salt and pepper and butter and it's gonna be so yummy. And I'm gonna try not to break the eggs. I'll, I'll do my best. Boop! I'm hungry. Maybe I'll make some coffee. Yeah. You know? Do you wanna watch the intro? Yeah, we do, right? Such a good intro. I really like these intros. I like how it's the same as seasons, but different. You know? <laughs> Sabio plate. He's like, yeah! <laughs> I imagine this Link would sound like a mix between Toon Link and Adult Link's. I think he's supposed to be an adult here. Maybe? I don't know. His head is really big, so it makes him seem younger. Hard to say. You know how Toon Link is like, yeah! You know? <laughs> And then a little Link is like, huh! You know, so I feel like it'd be kind of between those. Like a, yeah! <laughs> or something. Huh. <laughs> Probably around 16. Or 17, because he's, uh... Wait, if this is after... If this is after Ocarina of Time, then he'd be 17. If it's adult Link from Ocarina. I don't know. It's hard to say because this Link looks older than Kid Link and younger than Adult Link, so maybe he is a teenager. Although Adult Link is only 17, which is kind of mind-blowing. If you're 17, you are still like a little kiddo. 
Not to make you guys feel old, but when's the last time you, like, drove past a high school and you're like, these kids are- they're kids. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> like, you know? Right after I graduated high school, I was like, yeah, they're high school kids. I'm like, hey, I'm a big kid now. But, like, driving by a, a high school as an adult, like, hi in high school you feel like an adult, right? When you drive by as an actual adult, you're like, you see high school kids when you're actually an adult, you're like, I was not an adult. <laughs> I was a, a little kid. Barely out of diapers. That's what it feels like sometimes. Sorry for making you guys feel old. I feel old too. But that's okay, because we're all wiser and better, probably, hopefully, than we were in high school. Yeah. Hey, look, we get to watch the intro again. <laughs> it looks... It looks like they... I don't know. It looks like he's supposed to be older, but they made him look young. But that's what they do in Japan. They'll be like, oh, hey, he's 21. This is this guy? Pfft. 21. He looks, you know, 15, but he's 21. I feel like Japan gets in trouble for stuff like that sometimes. Anyway. Anyways. At this point, I feel like I might as well just let it, just let it play out again. Just let it play. And I'll find a raid target for us. And speaking of raids, if you guys, if you're still here from the plundery raid earlier, or the reps raid also earlier, but not as far earlier, you know, thanks for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Hope you liked the tunes. Hope you liked the stellar, super professional gameplay and stuff, you know? Hey, I was talking about Poke Rogue earlier. Ooh, first time trying Poke Rogue. Okay, we're gonna go see Popos. We're gonna go see Popos. So let me just do this. There we go. What a great game. They're both both of them together. Seasons and ages. You can't really have one without the other. Although when I was a kid, I definitely had seasons and not ages. But they're so good and they're so good together. It's crazy. And I don't even know. Like, I'm sure there's way more stuff that I'm not even aware of. I don't even know exists. But I know that after we beat ages... I guess we're going to get a code, and then we have to play Ages again. So hopefully all the things that I got stuck on will be, like, easy mode, because I will remember how I beat them eventually. And then we play Seasons again. And I, I think that's actually the perfect order for me. Because playing Seasons first, like, you know, that's the one I had when I was a kid. So finally beat it. And then Ages. And Ages is, like, the trickier, more brainy one. So playing it twice back-to-back -back is probably ideal, so I don't have time, a whole lot of time to forget stuff. And then going back to Seasons for, like, the grand finale. I think it'll be awesome. I can't wait. I mean, I'm already doing it, but, you know, can't wait for that thing that I'm already in the process of doing. Anyways, let's go see Popo's VGC. He does a lot of Pokemon stuff. He does a lot of Pokemon VGC stuff. And right now he's playing Poke Rogue for the first time. You missed it! It's all right. There's always the VOD. We did the Mermaid Cave, and it was really cool. So if you're looking for something to watch later, you might want to check out the VOD. Um, but also tomorrow, the Maku tree said we have a chance to go and talk to, talk to Queen Ambi. So we're going to do that tomorrow. So that'll be cool. So look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out, you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a super excellent Tuesday. I know what day it is. There was no hesitation. I always know what day it is. All right. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.